Why is it on your camera? It's not supposed to be on you. It's supposed to be on me. I even clicked on me. It's all a conspiracy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monday Barbarian Kung Fu Blowout B-I-N Bash. Brought to you by me, Barbarian Kung Fu. I'm, always, <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something better, but hey, do it right off the hip. Always seems to come out good, right? Welcome, everybody, though. Thanks for coming out. Got a whole bunch of awesome sellers out here bringing you a bunch of awesome books. It's just so much awesomeness. Like, I don't even know if I can handle all the awesome. Um, I will uh, let everybody know that I forgot last week that it was the last week of the month because this is technically a new month. So I forgot to do my free books with all my sales last week. So I'm going to do as many as I can this week. I got some out now. So everything you buy will get a free book from me as long as the free books last. Uh, so that's something. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to run through the sellers we got real quick. As you can probably guess, Parker's not here yet, but he was here earlier. So I know he exists. And when he gets here, we'll pop him in. Um, but we'll run through. We got a Excellent, excellent lineup of sellers that always have good stuff. See, there's Parker right now, but he's just going to have to wait until it's his turn. But first off, joining us for the first time on the Ben Show, y'all give it up for Big O. Hey, yeah, what's going on, everybody? Um, jumping in, thanks for having me on. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I uh, picked up a collection from an old friend trying to help him sell it. So I've got a bunch of new stuff, different stuff for everybody. And hopefully somebody will want what I've got. At least yeah. that's, that's the goal, at least, right? So excited to be here. <laughs> we all have our fingers crossed. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> right on, right on. All right. So next up, back by popular demand. It's everybody's favorite Southerner, Southern Comic Geek. What's up? Woo! Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, shout out to everybody in already in the chat tonight, and of course, all the fellow sellers except for Parker. And you know, we do appreciate everybody for uh, being here tonight. Share the uh, channel, smash that like button because I think Barbarian, are you still trying to give away a book? For a whole bunch of like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I still hadn't even gotten halfway there yet. <laughs> ah, okay. Anyway, Barbarian wants to give away some books here, people. Help him out, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna we've got, all got some books that you're gonna be interested in at the low, low prices that we offer them for you too. And uh, that's it. Let's uh, sling some books. Nice. Right on. All right, let's move over to the selling power couple, the YouTube dynamic duo. It's the Cleavers. Hello. Hello. Hope everybody's doing great tonight. Thanks all the people who come out to check out books and be here with us. Thanks to uh, Barbarian for letting us be here in the awesome panel, and we can't wait to sling some books. You want Sweet. something? Drop it in the chat. That always helps. Yeah, if you're looking for something in particular, you just never know. I mean, Big O just uh, he just bought a whole got a whole collection of stuff to sell. He might have everything you need. Fill your whole run. Fill it from top to bottom. I okay, so <laughs> next, uh, next up is our official scumbag. It's Weapon X. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for having me on, Barbarian. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Just uh, hope to have a good time with everybody. And I just uh, hopefully, like I said, get some books out, get some deals, and uh, kind of go from there. Yeah, Weapon X always has really good books. I tell you right now, they're always in great shape. He don't mess around with no trash. So y'all, get them up, <laughs> get them claimed. What is that right there? Is that a print? It's a print. Yeah, somebody sent me. That's badass. Yeah, that's dope. Is that gonna be for sale for me? Maybe. Can I buy we'll it see. from you for? Okay, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up. up we have, I don't know who this is. Is this somebody uh, trying to jump on here that's not supposed to be on here? Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Parker, Parker. He had plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> you just look you like that old man that like sits outside smoking cigarettes on the porch down the street. 
<laughs> I think your doctor fucked up a little bit. You probably should sue him. <laughs> that looks like an improvement. Fuck off, asshole. <laughs> 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 you know we love you, Parker. There should be some knives on that finger, I believe. Ah, there should be, but there's not. Oh God, Jesus! Oh, what the fuck was that? Holy crap! Oh, jeez, you scared me. <laughs> What's up, guys? Um, let's sell some books and have some fun. Okay, cool. That's what it's all about. This is uh, the after Halloween party party. Yeah. After after okay. Halloween party. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, let me go through the rules real quick, because without rules, it would be anarchy. And we know what happens with anarchy. People go looting, and then we have to pick a president to stop it. And that's what happens tomorrow. Don't forget to vote unless you don't want to vote for anybody that's there now. And then don't waste your vote. Give it to me. Uh, first rule, you got to be 18. Everybody knows that. Uh, if you're not 18, then don't claim any books. This is got a it. buy it now all show. Everything is buy it now. Claim either by the letter or by the book or however that seller's putting the stuff up. You just claim it like they put it up, and then we're going to put a starting line. And as soon as you see that starting line, bam, you put your claim in there. Make sure you do it quick if you see something you want. You're going to have plenty of time before the starting line comes down to know what's up there and know what to grab, except for when Parker does it. You'll see. It's a fucking train wreck. But anyway, uh, you just claim what you want after the starting line. Any claims before the starting line will be completely and totally ignored, just like I was as a child. No one will pay any attention to them, and they'll be left alone to fend for themselves. Um uh, as far as payment goes, just as a standard, we do PayPal friends and family. Um, please pay friends and family. And if you want to do goods and services, that's fine. Just let us know ahead of time. Like before you start claiming stuff, say, hey, I'm here and I'm going to be paying goods and services. And if you don't like it, then don't accept my bids. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fine if you want to. Just let us know. And that way we'll send you an invoice and you don't have to figure out what the fee is or whatever because we can send you an invoice and it'll have the fee included simple as that easy peasy um the, there's other people they take other things like cash app and venmo i'm actually in the process of working out my cash app because i am kind of fed up with paypal <laughs> but we'll see how that goes right now i'm still taking paypal um as far as shipping goes everything is going to be shipped priority mail no flat rate. Or, I mean, no no more media mail going to be going out. It's all going to be priority mail, either flat rate or however that person wants to ship it. But as a standard, the price is 1 to 11 books. Sorry, 1 to 10 books is $9. And 11 to 45 is going to be 15 If the seller has a different way of doing their shipping prices, then they'll let you know that everything will be shipped priority mail. And it will have tracking and insurance, at least up to the $50. If you want more insurance on something, um, then you can work that out with your seller. Uh, but everything will be shipped priority mail. Says who? Says me. <laughs> well, when I, if someone gets one book, I usually ship first class. So you still get tracking and all that. But Well, first class is fine. First class, yeah, you get tracking. Yeah, and, I just don't want you to yeah. specify, like, well, I mean... <laughs> no, first class is fine. I don't want to uh, break any rules. <laughs> mostly, it's just not media mail. Like, media mail is no good. Um, anyway, um, yeah, like I said, though, if anybody has any different prices for their shipping, they'll let you know. And uh, what else is it? Oh, with giveaways. Giveaways. Yeah, I like to do giveaways. Um, anybody, as normal, anybody that buys from anybody in the sale... Is going to get thrown on the wheel, the wheel of fortune, because that's what you will get. And you'll win this Secret Warriors trade paperback, number one, so you can read it from the beginning. That's going to go to somebody that buys from anybody. You can buy from anybody. Plus, anybody that buys from me gets a free book. That's the white things. And if we can get to 100 
thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't care which one. If we get to 100 of both, then I'm going to give away this slab. ASM 252. It's Family. a Toy Biz variant, Toy Biz reprint, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's free, free shipping, free slab. Everything's free. Just get more people in here to hit the thumb button. We haven't even made it to 50 yet. But like I said, if we get to 75 thumbs down, I'll give it away. 75 thumbs down or 100 of both. I don't care whichever way we get there. I want to give this damn thing away. It's haunting my dreams. I was in a show the other day, and they had 20 people in the chat, and they had 80 thumbs up. I don't know how that worked out. But anyway, if somebody wants a free slab, they'll share the video, and then they'll get a bunch of thumbs. Um, uh, yeah, as far as that goes, if anybody else has giveaways, they'll let you know when uh, their turn pops up. Um, the only other rule that I have, and it is the most important rule out there, is just have fun. Everybody, you know, hang out, be positive, be respectful. That's uh, very important. And, uh, you know, let us know in the chat what's going on. If, uh, if you're looking for anything in particular, um, I guess if you want to tell us what you're making on your freaking sandwich, then that's fine, too. It's no, kind of confusing, no. but... Uh, uh that's yeah i mean at least it lets us know that everybody didn't fall asleep <laughs> yeah. uh so anyway that's it that's all i got thanks Take for coming off. out we'll see y'all later have a good night <laughs> oh we gotta sell stuff first so the first person i see to my right is big o so big o if you're ready to go we can get this show on the road yes I, i'm here i'm ready to roll all right there you um, go so just I'm glad to be back. I took a little bit of a break from, you know, selling some stuff. But like I said, I'm trying to help out a friend um, sell his collection off. So I've got a lot of the late 80s, early 90s of a little bit of everything. So um, starting off with a little Marvel lot. Uh, I know I got a little bit of glare going there. See if I can tilt this just a little bit and get a, get rid of that there just a little bit better maybe all right so up across the top we got three positions a b and c um in the a position we've got deadly foes of spider-man that's going to be one through four uh in the b position we got dark man one two and three of the first limited run and then also number one of the second run uh, in the C position we got doom 29 uh 2099 excuse me one through five um, across the bottom row, uh, we have uh, Marvel Team Up Annual um, number two and four on the back side of that one. Um, that would be in the D position. Letter E is going to be Spider Man 2099. That is just number one. Um, letter F is going to be Secret Defenders one and two. And then letter G would be the Marvel Masterpieces. Those are the art books. Um, I actually have one through four over there. We're going to do this as a $5 round. So claim away. All right, y'all. $5 round. I got to spell round right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will actually I will fix my, uh, my banner across the bottom because I don't have my PayPal on there. so Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. I, sh I showed up late, everybody. That's why it's my fault. And actually, if you can tell me the price before you say the books, I can type it all up. Yep, it's so, sorry about that. It'll be $5. No, fine. It's fine. Uh, Steven Spock, well, he was claiming G, but he took it away. I don't think there is a G. He wants the G spot. Amy Cleaver claimed D. G is the Marvel Masterpieces. There is a G, isn't there? A, B, C, D. Oh, e, yeah, that F, is. That's the last yeah. one. So okay. G is the Marvel masterpieces. Uh, Cleavers, I got you guys for Spider-Man Marvel team up. Now, um, which uh, is are those? Uh, which artist is that? Is that Jim Lee did some? Uh, Jusco did those some. Those four and G are going to be the Joe Jusco ones. Okay, right on. Jim yeah, I have a, uh, I have the Archangel one. I just mm -hmm. got today. Yeah, I have yeah. the the Jim Lee ones. That he did mostly X Men. Yep, yeah, on okay. his, and then with the Joe Jusco ones, you got uh, a yeah, bunch right. of different characters. Let's see, yeah, we got 20 Jesus. seconds left on the clock. If anybody so, sees any other ones they want to pick up, five dollars, Hulk, and then Wolverine Sabretooth on the back. Oh, of that. You got all four of those. I'll, I'll claim, G. yeah, those are all four. 
Do you have a way to type stuff, Parker? I just did it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Parker's taking letter G. I'm on the wheel. <laughs> he's, he's on the G spot and he's getting himself on the wheel. That's the first G spot I've seen in years. Man. Uh, hey, yo. TMI, TMI. Get out of here. Water. <laughs> Sorry, Max Dan. It looks like Parker sniped you. <laughs> Is that a flare gun or a water gun, gamers? <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, move on over to Southern Comic Geek. If anybody pops in here later on in the rewind or something and wants to pick any of those up, just hit Big O up. And yeah, while we're uh, switching out, go ahead and change your thing and put your PayPal hickey do on there. Will do. You know? All right. Cool, man. All right. Southern Comic Geek, what you got for us, brother? All right, so we got a $3 round starting off here. We got a uh, book that you see and a book that you don't see. At the A spot, we've got Marvel Age number 44. That's one of the 25th anniversary covers, as are B and C, which are Fantastic Four 296 and Avengers 273, respectively. At the D spot, this is a reprint of Avengers Unplugged number five. Oh, it's a flip book on the other side of it. It's Untold Tales of Spider-Man, some number. Uh, but this is the story where Captain Marvel's son comes and claims the title of Captain Marvel. And so uh, Monica Rambo ends up taking the uh, a different name. So then we've got Web of Spider-Man. Oh, or something like that. <laughs> right. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 90, the first uh edition because the second edition is a gold one and it's a who stand and we've got oh, nice 25 again a new standy then we got strange academy number two the third printing at g meaning stampy number 12 uh, at you the you idiot <laughs> you idiot uh, yeah, and then we've got Batman Secret Files number three at I Hawkman number 23 at J Uncanny X Men 304 uh, with the hologram cover at K, and then TMNT uh, 108, the B cover, the Eastman cover. Uh, that's of the current IDW run at M, and they are three dollars. You get two books a pop, so three dollars a claim there. All right, y'all, three dollar round. Don't forget, Southern's been putting up books behind these books for free, and there's been some good books back behind there. He's got some nice books hidden amongst everything. So it's definitely a, a wise decision to claim some letters and get this starting line down in here. Get this timer rolling. Shout out to CFAP. What's up, man? Hope you're feeling better. It's like T Pain's claiming letter G. Mm -hmm. All right, T Pain, you also got Green Arrow number 23. Um, and just as kind of a preview for the my next round, I'm going to have a bunch of Ghost Rider uh, from the Johnny Blaze uh, Ghost Rider go up. Oh, boy. You just made somebody's day in the chat. ME Comics is taking letter E. Damn it, man. I was hoping nobody would take that because I was going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> New stands of those things, man. They go for... They go for good money if they're high grade, oh, that's for sure. The amazing Spider-Man one really does. Yeah. Um, it's got that Spider-Man 2099, and if you'll notice on the bottom of this one, this one does have a gatefold of Spidey and Spider-Man 2099 as well. It's just not yeah. his first one. And this one, you get Ultraverse Wrath number or Wraith number one. So. <laughs> I did not say I claim them all. 15 well, seconds left on the clock. <laughs> I hope Gamer, maybe Gamerlands is going to take them all. He needs to fill up them boxes, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost time. Well, that is time. So uh, anybody wants to get any of these books, you better claim them now or forever hold your peace. And if anybody comes in here on the rewind and wants to grab any of these, they'll all be available except for letter A because you're going to put letter A in my box because I don't have the letter A. Done. <laughs> I would have took letter E too, but somebody had to go and beat me to it. Um, let's move on over to the Cleavers and see what they got for us this round. 
Hello. Hello. I got a glare. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm really? on that. Oops. Thank you. We take Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal, preferably the top two. Hit us up on IG. Okay. Uh, Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight. $2 round. Okay. I would have got that when I got to the bottom. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight, number two. Shaman. Yeah. Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight, number five. Shaman. Batman, Legends Shaman. of the Dark Knight, Prey. I'll bring this one down because it. This one's Prey. Shaman. Prey, man. Prey. We have Detective Comics, 1021. Batman Beyond, 43. Uh, B covers, B covers. Uh, Detective 1022, A cover. Bloodlines Outbreak, number one. And Gotham, Gotham Knights, number one. So. All for Two dollars, $2, y'all. Two dollar round. Get your two dollar books. We got the starting line dropped and the timer going. Um, I don't know if it's possible, but you might be able to get the glare away by raising your camera up a little because it'll change the angle of it. No, no, I mean like lifting the whole thing up. I don't know if that's possible or not. Like if you got the laptop, oh. maybe you stick a couple phone books yeah, underneath we're... it. Yeah, we're it yeah, might work. Yeah. I don't know. You know, those things they made oh, back bro. in the 80s. <laughs> you got okay, T-Pain taking letter D anymore? and letter E. Beating Gamers Land out. He said, my internet's so fast. I got this. We'll use T-Pain's internet's so back. fast, he claimed two things before gamers could get one. What's that, Kevin? Work with that. See, that's kind of, a yeah, level uh, you got a little box. bit of glare on one of them, but. It's just on the corner, and it could be just the way it's leaning. Okay, what do we got? B paint D and E. D and E. Ah, B covers. B is in David. E is in Edward. And Gamers Land <laughs> missed out. He was too slow. Gamers Land missed out. He didn't have that like the best internet. She said, "The new phone books here. The new phone books here." Jerk. <laughs> Things are gonna start happening now. <laughs> yes. Die, hey. gas pumper. You got five <laughs> seconds left if anybody wants to claim any of these books. Now's your chance. That's a four dollar book. All I need is this pink and this chair. <laughs> All I need <laughs> is this thermos. Pump chair. <laughs> this lamp. Shithead, come on. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's enough of the jerk. Uh, if anybody sees any of these on the rewind, you want to pick them up, just hit the cleavers up. If anybody decides in the chat here, hey, I changed my mind, give me them all. Just let them know in the chat. And we are going to move on over to Weapon X and see what kind of good stuff he's got for us this round. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, this can be my Vampirella round. Oh, oh, oh sugar bomb bomb. On the, uh, the top row, it's going to be $8. Uh, you're going to get the uh, Vampirella Classic, number one. I'm, 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 and number two oh, wow. for $8. In A and B slot, and then in C, D, and E, it's a uh, three dollars. You got Vampirella number twelve, oh, really? Vampirella number eleven, and Vampirella another copy of Vampirella number twelve. Oh, really? Three dollars for those. All right, all right, y'all. So three dollars for the bottom row, eight dollars for the top row. I know everybody is itching. They're they're waiting. They're like, hey, just go on, come on, just drop it. I'm gonna hit that button so fast. <laughs> but uh, now's your chance because I got the starting line down and the timer going. Get you some Vampirilla action up in here. That's the nice. It's like a cover swipe to Vampirilla One, like the magazine. Yeah, it's yeah. like the. It almost looks like the exact same color cover. <laughs> Gamers is taking C and D. C and D. All right. Has anybody worked with Gamers? Is, is, oh yeah, yeah, he's good. I'm just messing with you, gamers. <laughs> Good looking. Can you show the one on the top row again, please? Yeah. 
So it's uh, it's by Harris Publication or Harris Comics. Let me check it out. They're in little my lights as well. I'll put them in there. Um, it's Harris Comics Classic um, Number One. Thirty then, seconds uh, on the it, clock. It's, it's like a reprint of the the magazine, basically, but it's in comic size, I guess you could say. And then number two is on the oh. back. Oh, nice. So, I know we got two. I don't remember if we got one. Crap! You're killing me. You got fifteen seconds left on the clock. If anybody wants to grab one of these books, we'll yes. check if we find out we need it. We'll hit you up on IG. All right, sounds good. Thanks. She spilled a little something on her chest right there. See, there's a little red. <laughs> she should get a napkin. That is the timer. So anybody comes in here and wants to get one of these books that's left, just hit up Weapon X. Let him know, hey, give me some of that action. Or if you see this on the Rewind, you can find him on Instagram, Weapon X 578 all day long. And we'll move on over to Parker. Parker's turn. It's finally Parker's turn to rock the mic. Are you going to do it like Parker style or are you going to do it like everybody else style? Oh, well, I guess my style. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do it kind of somewhere in the middle of both actually, but yeah. So Is it going to be a claim as you go? Well, not I might do that, I don't know. Right now I'm just going to sell like one thing at a time and if people don't want it they can say pass, and we can just move on to a different person. Make this go. Past. Okay. Not really trying hard tonight. Um, night. <laughs> Any night. Uh, I got ten Avenger books. Nine dollars. Buy it now. Nine dollars. That's it. So, there's a lot of ten Avenger books. Nine dollars claim. You get them all. That's it. I'm not building. Not doing anything like that. Not individually. Nine dollars for the lot. Ten books. You get this book. There's nothing crazy. Most of these are $2 to $4 books. But for less than a dollar a book, you're getting a good deal. So if you want to claim all these Avengers, go ahead. It's $9 for all of them. <laughs> they are all Conform. in... These are all in near mint minus to near mint condition. These are all high, high, high grade. But most of them are from the 80s and 90s. So. They should be high grade. Ah! <laughs> so if you're just looking for some run fillers, none of these are in order. The lowest number, I think, is 242. 242 is the lowest. And 345 is the highest. You can have all of these Avenger comics. I want to see the chat too. Do you like the rest of us? No, I'd rather not. If they don't sell like this, I will try a dollar a book, maybe in a round coming up. Awesome, Andy. Yeah, he's on two of these. Awesome, Android. There he is. She Hulk. And Photon. Captain Marvel. Fire photon torpedoes. All right, so y'all see what he's putting up there. If anybody's interested in these books, $9. It's not an auction. It's just a buy it now. So you say buy it now, $9, and they can all be yours. I've That's already awesome, got the, the starting line, I guess you'd call it, in there. Yep. So, uh, and no one's interested. Just throw down some passes, and we can move on. Um, actually, I'm probably going to try to sell these for two or three bucks each individually. So you're definitely the best deal you can get is right here. It will not be any cheaper. I don't think we're getting any takers, but I don't see any passes. So if you don't want these guys, let me know. Save us some time. I think they're afraid if they say pass, then you'll go away. <laughs> We won't nope. get to see Parker anymore. Comics passed. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> All right. So Parker's gone for the night. We're going to move on over to me. It's my turn. What the hell was that? <laughs> Want some gourds? 
before they go bad. <laughs> Oh, fast, fast, fast. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I switched that when I did. <laughs> okay. <Gotcha. laughs> so let's see. Uh, this is going to be a $2 round for me. Let me get this $2 thing set up here. Uh, two bucks. Uh, letter 14 takes the whole table, just like always. Um, I think these are all X Men books. Let me look real quick. Yeah, they're all X-Men books. So if you like X-Men, maybe you'll like some of these. They're all kind of weird. Uh, first one, and and I, like most of my stuff is going to be near mint, very fine to near mint. If it's not, then I'll let you know always. Uh, like this is probably in the fine area, but this is X-Men number one. This is the Toys R Us limited edition X-Men number one from like the 80s, I think, or 90s, somewhere around there. Um, got a couple of these awesome X-Men Pizza Hut books from around the same era. And these are the same. They're like fine. They've, uh, they've survived this long though, you know, and then I got number two. That was number one. This is number two. Uh, then we got, uh, this is a X uh, uncanny X-Men number one. This is the fried pie variant. Never mind that. That's Parker's alarm. Let me know that. Watch out for him. Uh, then we got uh, in the E, F, and G spot is uh, X Men, Astonishing X Men number one. And these are all high grade right here. I don't think they've ever been read. Where are these ants coming from? Get out of here. Fuck off, ant. Number two, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. Number three, nice, huh? Super stuff. You can read the whole run. And then the last book here, this is X-Men 21 Newsstand. So that's kind of a good book to find. And it's in really nice shape. Like for a newsstand copy of that year, like that era, that's it's really nice shape right there. For two bucks, you can't beat that. So two bucks each. 14 takes the whole table. Just claim all before anybody claims anything. And they can all be yours for $14. But there's the starting line. And I'll get the timer as soon as I get back to it. And there you go. Is that Timer's Hoser? rolling. Up, Starting lines going. See if anybody's into some awesome X Men. Meatwad. No yeah. way, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was gonna do the entire auction as uh, Sean Connery, as in in memory for Sean Connery. But then I fucking forgot. Yeah, to. I think our impressions killed him last week. <sighs> God damn it. It's too late now. Rest in peace, Sean. Rest in peace. Yeah, man. You should be doing it like Sean Connery, man. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Two dollars. Uh, oh, did I mention that they were two dollars a letter? And that fourteen dollars would take the whole table. <laughs> I mean, if somebody wants to pay a dollar each for them, you can claim for a dollar each if they want to do that was that fine it's all these ants coming from they're attacking me it comes with a free book too what am i talking about will you sign it no i don't sign stuff that's a trap listen here tight i don't want to hear that shit neither man just bring me some candy h Oh, Emmy took oh. eight before Brennan did claim all. So let's see. Uh, Emmy Comics for a dollar. What letter is it? What's in the letter H? Letter H is the freaking newsstand. So your Son. free book is Robotech New Generation number four. Look at all these ants. That's why nobody's claiming them. Um, why do you have ants Brennan, in your comic? Where's what is he on there? Brandon, Brandon B. If you want to take the rest of them for seven bucks, you can have the rest of them. Just say yes or no. I don't think they're listening. You've done Who? me like five times. Yeah, they probably just have the mute on, like a bunch of weirdos. But uh, you are going to get on the on the wheel of doom. Emmy Comics. A rig and, uh, wheel, but... No, I don't even know how to rig anything. I'm too fucking stupid for that. Airboy just wins it all every time. Um. Okay. He so he said, yeah. There you go. Seven bucks. Good choice. That's what I would have done. 
B-O-N-D-O-N-D. So, Brandon B., if you wouldn't mind, hit me up on Instagram while we're doing this here stuff. And uh, that way I can get all your shipping info. You want to see your free books real quick? You get Robotech Mass Saga, Macross Saga number two. And you're going to see a real theme going on here. Robotech, the Sentinels number three. You get some uh, Robotech, the Sentinels number four. I hope you like Robotech, man. I'm telling you. You got Robotech, the Sentinels number seven. You got Robotech, the Macross Saga, number 17. These are all Comicos, too, or Entity. They're all old, so they're good books. You got Robotech. This is Zero. That is the Bill Spangler Academy Comics one. And uh, last but not least is Robotech Masters, number three. Awesome books. You got an awesome bunch of books for $7. Wait, I got to put the tag on the front or else I'll miss it out. Okay, so let's uh, let's move over here to Big O. I've wasted enough time. All right. Hopefully, I got the banner across the bottom uh, figured out. I do have Instagram, Big O F G C forty two, and then uh, PayPal is that same uh, at gmail dot com. Uh, I am going to also do a two dollar round, and I know I've got a pretty good glare going up where the letter A position would be, but that is just X Men twenty ninety nine number one. Um, in the letter B position would be X-Men Classic number 42, Great Dark Phoenix uh, cover. Letter C would be the Punisher Armory number one. Uh, letter D would be Fantastic Four. That's the uh, die cut cover on 358. And letter E, that would be the Alien Alliance number one. Is a DC Comics uh, sci-fi kind of book. Um, letter F would be Batman... 459 and letter G would be uh, Detective Tom- Comics number 620. Really cool little skull cover. And then in uh, H position would be Batman 414. Again, $2 rounds. Uh, there are two books. There's a book behind every one. Dang, y'all. Two bucks a book. And you get a free book. And That's a free like book. a buck a book. That's like a book of book. All right, we um, got the starting line down, and the timer is a rolling. See if I can adjust that to where that's a little bit easier to see. Steven Spock sees a reflection cover. Yep. Yeah. Where? Down there in that H spot. Batman four fourteen. H T E. Uh, Letter C is the Punisher Armory, number one. Is that a square bound book? Uh, No, it is not. I do have a couple. I do have a couple of the Punisher square bound books, the little bit thicker ones. Yeah. Um, So uh, I'll put those up here eventually. Looks like uh, Parker's going to take letter E. That's going to be that Alien Alliance book. Is like better. On the back side yeah. is Flash 51. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Like Flash. Ah. Uh, he saved every one of us. Flash. Ah. Uh, Master of the universe. Looks like we got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds. Or how old your piece? Somebody just messaged me. I was trying to read it. Sorry. I got sidetracked. Oh, look, a squirrel. <clears throat> Looks uh, like. Let's say, yeah, Max Ann just took letter C. Yeah, letter C, Punisher Armory again, number one. On the backside, Punisher Warzone, number one. And that's a die cut cover as well. Cool. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, y'all. So if anybody sees anything else that they want to get, Now's your chance. Throw it in the chat real quick. Uh, yeah, we saw Max. I think Max you need to refresh. Maybe, she, maybe I need to re- refresh. Yeah, the whole I got, that was C. I'll refresh the whole stream. You stay right where you're at. <laughs> I'll I'll slow us down and, we, and then you'll catch up. Is uh, uh, A B C D E F is I don't know math. <laughs> is uh, G a newsstand or direct? You know, Batman school. Oh. Yeah, let me snag it. Let me look. Looks like a newsstand to me. 
Your little bit. Okay, the banner thing was kind of covering it. I couldn't see. Yep, it's fine. And it does have a couple. Oh, of yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can see those. I'll pass. I'll pass. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Though. Yeah. Oh, Max is asking if you take Cash App. Uh, cash I don't app. have one set up, but uh, I can figure something out if I need to. If they right, need I'll to send me Cash App, they can send it to me and I can. It works. I, I usually try to stick with the PayPal, but I can figure something out, I'm sure. There you go. That's what we do is we work through the problems here. Okay. All right, Southern, what you got for us, man? All right, so we've got a $5 round. We got a few bigger books up here in the front, and then we still have the oh, book man. behind there. On the A spot, we've got Ghost Rider from the uh, Garth Ennis run on that. Clayton Crane cover. That is number one, the retailer edition. And then at uh, – Ooh, that's a good book. Uh, it is a very sick cover. So um, then we've got of uh, the Johnny Blaze series, we've got Ghost Rider 12. 21, 23, 26, 27, and 31 at B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then we've got uh, Ghost Rider Highway to Hell um, at H. And then we've got Amazing Scarlet Spider number two, New Stand. That's from where they rebranded everything with Scarlet Spider when they were making Ben Riley the Peter Parker and Parker the clone. But anyway... Uh, then we've got Batman Adventures number 23, 24, and 25. Steven Spock. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, there's ninjas on there. So, uh, yeah. So then you got uh, Batman and Superman. Look at that mullet. Look at that mullet. <laughs> anyway, Super mullet. Uh, I like $5 it. $5 letter. Get you two books. Uh, and all the Ghost Riders. Uh, uh, the older Johnny Blaze Ghost Riders, that is, they're probably mid grade, you know, somewhere between a five and a seven. All right, y'all. So we got the five dollars starting line down. We got the timer going. Go ahead and get your claims in there. If you see something you want, get it quick. Yeah. Got some awesome books. That that uh, Ghost Rider one, that Crane Club cover is pretty sick. T Pain's taking it though. He always takes the books that I want. Are you claiming it or just calling it out, Steve? Yeah, T Pain uh, claiming before Flash by Night. <sighs> so, yes. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Paper. And then yes. you also get Aquaman number two. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to Crane. <laughs> so. Yeah, please. <laughs> it's coming from a dude that likes Hawkman. So, I like Hawk Girl really? actually. Right. Oh wow, Hawk Woman. <laughs> hawk. I like the female Hawk persons. Okay. Leave me oh. alone. I'm sorry. Sorry for the discrepancy and awesomeness. You got 15 <laughs> seconds left on the clock, y'all. 15 more seconds. Than- uh, Max. It looks like Max wants a bunch of them. Um. If you could put them all on the like separate lines, that would be good. But since no one else is claiming any, go ahead and she wants B, C, D, E, F, and G. B, C, D, E, F, G. G. The old ghost rider. I like it. <laughs> he said my petty response. I'm not, seeing, is I'm, not seeing that on my, I'm not seeing that on mine for some reason. I'm so not what, seeing hers either, but. I you don't see it? Okay, I no. see it in the uh, comments on the stream yard. So B, C, D, E, F, and G. Got it. So there, all the you old... should see uh, you should see it from yeah. now on. I made her a moderator, so you should never miss it no more. Oh, look at that! Flashman Knight says uh, my uh, petty response: "This lag is terrible. My better half. Congratulations." <laughs> Straight up. All right. Oh, I guess I need to make Big O a moderator too. Everyone's a moderator. Uh, the books behind there, you get Ren and Stimpy. You, you get, get them. Uh, 24. Nice. Red's you cool. get cool. Educational <laughs> Spider-Man 20. Uh, you get X-Men number three. Nice. You get Psylocke. Um, Justice League Odyssey, a little shiny, shiny uh, cover, that's number two. And then you also get Team Youngblood. 
But that's not a uh, life health cover, so don't have to worry about it. Yeah, don't Max, that way if it. multiple people want are bidding, are like claiming books at the same time, like you can't just put them all in one line and take them all. Like it just makes it a little bit fairer for everybody, I guess. When no one else is claiming Fair anything, work. it don't really make a difference. Hey, fairer should be a word if it's not. Uh, but that More was the either. timer's up. So uh, when we're going to move on over to the Cleavers, if anybody sees any of these on the rewind, wants to get them, just hit up Southern Comic Geek. Oh, yeah. I'll take care of them when we get there, honey. There you go. Okay. We got that various number lot. Each one has its uh, price. I have $20 on... Batman 66 meets Wonder Woman 77, number one through six. I have eight on the Jack of Hearts, uh, one through four on the four issue limited series. I, I have eight on the Wolverine number 50 die cut. I've got 30 on the Virgin Baroness. New York City Comic Con, Comics Elite, something like that. Something yeah. like that. It's written on the back of it. I have 10. This is a uh, Witchblade number 12, the image ver image run. Um, it's a Michael Turner cover. It comes with the, it is numbered one, 23 out of 100, the lady that played Witchblade in the TV series. Signed a photograph of her that came with it. I have the Uncanny and Humans, the Howard the Duck, Rembrandt kind of thing for five. It's number zero, zero, zero. I have the, oh, come on. Unknown Comics, Comics Elite, Immortal Hulk, number 20, and the Torpedo Comics, Wonder Woman number 750. All right, all right. So uh, I'm going to drop this starting line. Just claim the letter. The price is right there at the top of the book. Are they, are they well seeable on there? Yeah, yeah, you can see them. Okay, good. So just uh, if you see something you like, just claim the letter. And I got the starting line down and the timer rolling, so... Uh, Get in there while you can and get yourself some books. Get yourself some books. <clears throat> uh, T Pain wants to know if that Wolverine is a newsstand. I don't think it is. It's a no, dress. I think it would be on the back. Oh, wait. No, it's not on the back. The what? No, I was asking if it was a newsstand. No, it's, it's a direct. I only have one newsstand, and that one is in my to go out to some year be slab. Somebody's serenading. Somebody's trying to sing. Uh, it looks like T Pain's taking letter F. I want some, uh, some Howard the Duck. That's an awesome book. I have that. 20 seconds left on the clock. If anybody else wants to grab any of these. What in the Sam hell is going on around here? Sorry. All right, well, that's the timer, y'all. So if anybody wants to pick up any of these books that are left over, just drop it down in there Too in the chat. And if you're watching this on the Rewind, there is no chat. So just hit up the Cleavers on Instagram. And we're going to move over to Weapon X and see Thank what you. he's got Thank you. this round. All right. It's going to be a three, $3 three round uh, DC uh, theme we got uh, in slot A, uh, Death Metal Speed Metal number one, and B we got Death Metal Multiverses End number one, and in C we got Batman ninety three with the Matina variant cover, three dollars. 
three dollars y'all three dollars a book get your claims in there and get get you some some metal action heavy heavy fucking metal mate it's a bunch of heavy rotten metal mate heavy metal mate some heavy metal Oh, Probably I didn't hit show. the. I thought I hit the starting line. I didn't. I was sitting here waiting. <laughs> the starting line is down now, by the way. <laughs> get in there quick and get your fucking heavy metal. You bloody cunt. Hey, that's a dirty word. Don't say that. <laughs> bloody? Yeah. Yes. You bloody well know it is, mate. Blimey. All right, we got just under a minute left on the clock. If anybody wants to get in here and get some speed metal or some multiverses or yeah, multiverse. now's your chance. Metal. Get them while they're hot, fresh off the press. You didn't know Weapon X prints his own comics and then he sends <laughs> them off to CGC just to see if they'll catch it. Got 25 seconds left on the clock. Got any takers on some metal books, mate? Heavy metal thunder. Uh, oh, heavy excuse metal me. Thunder. That was. Uh, <laughs> Shit, my name. All right. So that's All the right. timer. It looks like no love for the metal. No, no love. love for the metal. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. But if anybody pops in here and wants to pick any of them up, just let Weapon X know. And we're going to go over to Parker and see what we're doing this round. What you, what you got for me this round, Parker? Well, nothing at the moment. There it is. Okay. Uh, stop. Hey, you can't show the TV playing stuff on TV or else they'll cut us off. Yeah. You get sued. You guys don't want to watch uh, that shit in here. Okay. Something like this. We'll, maybe we'll get there. Fucking go in the slot. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. That's all you need to do is get in the hole. This is a $5 round. A, B, C, D. Go ahead. You can take them all for... 15. Oh, so doing? you can have a free book. $5 each. It's the on sale Wednesday variants. It's only four I have. They're all near mint. Plus, I mean, I don't see any flaws with any of them. They're all brand new. Um, $5 each. What did I say? 15 for all three. <laughs> you have to claim all. I think, I think part, uh, all Steven Spock said you're shaking the baby's brain. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe put a baby's brain up. <laughs> it was shaking the baby syndrome. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. Just go in, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, five so, bucks a book. That's like cover price on most of these, maybe even less on some of them. And these books were like yeah, really, probably, really underbought, like so they're pretty yeah, short. I think they're all, I think they're all four ninety nine books, but yeah, yeah. they were uh, really low print for this particular variant. The book itself isn't low print, but this variant, yeah. They were very under order, under ordered, as he said. A lot of them. I know Venom was a hot one that was going for like fifteen. Yeah, five each or fifteen for all four. So you get a free better. Book. You get a free one. Yeah. You got thirty seconds left on the oh, clock, y'all. Thirty more seconds left to get in there and grab them. Oh, T Pain did grab them. Shit. T Pain said, "Give me that 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 book." Heck yeah! Cool. Thanks, man. Okie doke. So now it's my turn. Uh, this this timer is going to go off while I'm doing this. So I'm just going to ignore it for a second and say this is going to be another $2 round. $2 a letter or $14 for the whole table. And since nobody likes the Marvel X Men, I'll put up some DC Flash books. Well, except for one. One's not DC or Flash. But, uh, First one we got, this is Flash number 56. It's like a, it's got like shiny lightning bolts on it. Oh, there it is. Shake a damn. And that's so nice, Nearman Copy. Uh, next up, this is Flash 123. It's like a homage cover that they did. Uh, 
I, don't, I couldn't tell you who did it. It says on here, uh, Infantino did the original cover. Uh, what? That's oh, cool. yeah. Cover Flash, one, Flash 123. There you go. Uh, then this is a New 52 Flash number six. Somebody could uh, silence those children, like stick a cork in it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, this is uh, from Rebirth. This is Flash 22. So I have 22 and... I have 21. I, I recognize this cover from something, but I honestly couldn't tell you because, you know, I don't care about, uh, you know, DC books. So I don't know why I recognize it, but I do. Uh, this is uh, the B cover to Flash 63. Kind of cool. They're all standing around him like, we did it. Yay. Yeah, we came up. We did it. We killed the Flash. Yeah. We killed the Flash and it didn't make. Uh, this is Cyborg number eight. It looks like Cyborg has killed Flash. So that counts, right? As, as a Flash. And this is also the Neil Adams variant. Like, yeah. 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 So that's cool. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. The last book up here. This is uh, cool. Millennium what? Edition. Yeah. For showcase flash, the flash good. showcase first appearance of flash. It's from 2000. Kind of cool book. Everybody knows about the first appearance of flash. You ain't never going to be able to afford the first per appearance of flash, but you can get this one for $2. So if you want to claim all it's 14 and then you get an extra free book on top of all the other free books. So there you go. I got the starting line down and the timer going. If anybody's interested in any of these, just pick a letter and type it into the hickey do. Looks like Steven Spock wants letter H. So we can make that happen. I need to change pens. That pen don't work for shit. Two dollar for Steven Spock to make him holla. And you'll never guess what your free book is. I'll, I'll let you guess, but you'll never will. So I'm going to show you. It's Robotech New Generation, number 14. Good choice. From Comico. 1980s goodness. Oh, we got Flash by Night coming in. Taking A and B. Hey, Flash by Night, if you would mind, hit me up on Instagram so I can uh, get all your shipping info. And uh, that way it will make things easier in the long run. And your free book is Robotech Return to Macros, number 16. Nice negative space cover. That's real popular nowadays, you know, with the kids. And then you got... Macros number 18. Another negative. Look, it's got her booties even negative. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's the timer. So uh, if anybody else uh, wants any of these, just let me know. Throw it down there in the chat. Or you can hit me up on the Insta and we can make that happen. Um, and let's move over to Big O. See what he's got. What you got for me, man? Uh, I've got another uh, $2 round. Um, somebody had mentioned doing some Daredevil stuff, so I had a couple that were in the in the box. I didn't realize that this Daredevil 272, they, uh, they did an homage of this when they did the uh, old War of the Realms. There's a War of the Realms book that's almost the exact, same exact cover. So uh, Daredevil 272 in A... Uh, Daredevil 298 in B, Daredevil 299 in C, uh, Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine 54, cool little Wolverine Hulk cover, um, or excuse me, yeah, that's 54, um, uh, Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine, I want to say 52 is the first appearance of Wild Child, um, Marvel Comics 100 uh, in the EF spot. Uh, in the G spot is uh, Deathlock number one, and then in the H spot is Batman five hundred. Oh, two nice. dollars! That, uh, that die cut cover. Batman. All right, yep. so let's see. I'm gonna get this starting line going and get this timer rolling. Y'all know what to do with your 
little chatty chat and drop a line. Then you hit the claims and you claim them all. You just claim them all because it feels so good. It makes you feel so good. And condition is, is similar across the board in that, you know, VF, VF minus kind of range. Different banner. Oh, yeah, that's not – it's not Wolverine. It's Marvel Comics Presents. Yeah. The, they, just, they were supposed to do, like, spotlight different Marvel characters, but they just stuck with Wolverine and Ghost Rider mostly. Yep. It was a lot of Wolverine for a while, but then they had some Excalibur in there as well. Yeah. yeah when it got towards the end, they started doing a lot of different people. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at it. I think I see a Claim C, Hoser. Hoser. Hoser uh, 299 uh, uh, and then 300. Just so you know, uh, Hoser lives in, in Canada. So uh, okay. he'll have to work out something with you with the shipping. So if you're willing to sell to Canada, if you're willing to send Canadians books, then there you go. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. We'll try to get them to claim a, ha claim a handful. That way we're not shipping just one out to Canada. Because those Canadians will do that to you. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so that's the timer. It looks like there's still a few books left up here if anybody wants to get them. Go ahead and uh, throw your picks into the chat. Show them the back of F. The back of F. The back. Oh, let's get it. We can do that. <clears throat> oh, no. That's not F. That's letter D. Wait a second. Back yeah, of the F is the 100. Thank you, yep. So that's the back side. All right. Front side was him barely hanging on, and the back side is them crushing him. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's better looking. <laughs> The other way All right, around. Well, if, sure. if you want to pick that book up, just let him know. And we're going to move over to Southern Comic Geek. Why All right. So I hate to, hey, I hate to part with good company, but this is going to be my last round. I actually have to leave in just a minute. And um, so, um, Anyway, so we got a two dollar round. Um, the at the A spot, uh, on we've got Batman Adventures number 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 at A, B, C, D, and E, respectively. Then we've got ASM 411, that's a new stern from 96. Uh, and then we've got ASM 412, another new stand, and 413, yes, another new stand. However, 423 is not one, uh, but it is still ASM 423 at the I spot. And then we've got ASM 424, and it nice. is a new stand. Then we've got ASM 435 at uh, K, and then ASM, when they redone the let, uh, numbering, uh, issue number four, and that's a John Byrne cover. There's What you see is what you get. There's no mystery book behind there. And it's All right, y'all. Y'all heard $2. Get your $2 books. Let's send out Southern Comic Geek with a bang. And I got this starting line down. The timer going. Hey, if you could real quick, uh, tell me all the people that sold, that bought from you. Oh, sure. Uh, T-Bang. Uh, MLE Comics. M-E. Yeah. Yeah, I'm underscore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, Max Ann. All right. So you got uh, Steven Spock claiming letter B. He decided he wants to go ahead and get the reflection cover. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then looks like he's picking up A. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, you're right. That's not old school uh, Star Wars. <laughs> Okay, we got like 15 seconds left on the clock, y'all. If anybody wants to grab any of these, it's going to be your last chance for tonight. Ah, it won't fit. Damn it. Damn it. That's the timer. ME says I'll take all of the newsstands. <laughs> Uh, so that is uh, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So that is four, Emmy. And Emmy, I don't think I've ever uh, told you anything. So uh, thank you for the experience. Um, what uh, if you would hit me up on IG at Southern Comic Geek, all one word? Uh, so if you would just hit me up on IG, and then that way later on I can send you a total and we can work out shipping. Out. That's the way to do it. He yeah, is good I've for it too. I've seen him before. before. Okay, cool beans. Well, I do appreciate everybody uh, on the panel tonight. Hopefully, y'all continue to celebrate the books, and uh, we'll catch you next go around. Yeah, man, I appreciate you coming out and selling with us, man. Take care, Sunder. Yep, yep. Thanks. All right, so y'all know what to do. If you see anything on the rewind that Southern put up that you might want to pick up, then go hit him up on Instagram and see if he can make out some deals with him. And I'm going to move over to the Cleavers and see what they got this round. What you all got for me, man? <coughs> we got Hello. $5. $5. <laughs> All right. Long. <laughs> okay. You're going to make everybody hungry, honey. I don't care. No subway. I don't have five dollar foot longs no more. I got year one flash number 70. And I have the beautiful number 75 that goes with it. A. -A. I got some Doctor Who's for the next three. Doctor Who, room with a deja vu. Ooh, that is a definite glare. I can't get rid of it either. There we go. Room with a deja vu. Deja vu. Uh, Doctor Who number four and Doctor Who number six. I have Doctor Who classics, issue number one and issue number five with the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. And this is Grant Morrison's Doctor Who, issue number two. I believe that's the sixth Doctor. I'm not sure. I can't remember anymore. And then I have the classic series two, number one, number two, and number three. Okay, that's better. I have... Was it at Detective Comics number three thirty five and three seventy six? Now these are these are filler copies, and I have a Batman meets Wonder Woman number three. These are not nothing fancy. In fact, to make that one better. I'm going to throw in Detective Comics 1022 <laughs> just because I don't think those are worth that. We'll do that. Get the four of them there. I have some more Batman. 12 Cent Adventure, number one. City of Light, number two and three. And Batman Confidential, two and three. Batman Shadow of the Night, 22. 23. Oh, I'm binding people with that. 22, 23, 24, 28, and 51. 51's kind of cool cover. And in the eighth spot, I have Batman the Giant Size number one. 
All right, y'all. You heard him. This is a five dollar round. Just claim your letter for five bucks, and you get a whole shit ton of bucks with each one. <laughs> got, the, got the starting line down and the timer rolling. So get in there and get you some books. See if there's something you like. Maybe you see something that your neighbor would like. Or maybe you see something that you wish you had. Now you can for cheap. Hey man, what's all that noise? I'm trying to sleep over here. Go back. I say, those are some mighty fine books that you have up there. How about four dollars? Oh my lord, he's dropped it to four dollars. Everyone, he's crazy. Yeah, certified. I got a plaque on the wall that says so. His parents told him he could become anything, so he became an asshole. And I'm very good at it. You have a Silver Age DC book that's Batman for four dollars right now. Nobody's buying it. I say that's incredible. They're both oh, shit. there's more than one for four dollars. That's two dollars a piece, y'all. Yeah, both for each. Oh man. Some oh, there's three. And there's four. That's a buck a that book. One, that one has five on it for four. Holy balls. <laughs> Holy balls, everyone. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. All right. Well, uh, maybe everybody ran off to grab a beer while your round was gone. So if you come back in here and you rewind it and you want to grab some of these books for four bucks, just let them know. The Cleavers would be happy to make that happen for you. Yep. And let's move on over to Weapon X and see what he's got. What you got for me, man? Hey, yo. All right. Sorry about that. No, it's okay, man. What's up? I got a $10 uh, round. Oh, shit. I see a book that I want. Uh, I'm not saying in, anything. Uh, in A at the top, we got oh. 52, week 11. The uh, first. Uh, come here. Come here. They're going to come in. Uh, uh, Batgirl. And then in uh, B, we got We Live number one. And C, we got Darth Vader number six. In D, JLA number one, which is starting to catch some heat. And in uh, E, we got New Avengers number four, the variant cover, uh, $10 each. Uh, Mr. Gorell, you're not allowed to claim stuff before the line, so you are now banned. Oh, no. Say nice. Enjoy, enjoy yeah. your ostracision. Say bye-bye, Mr. Gorell. All right. There you go. So this is a $10 round. I'm going to drop this starting line. Anybody claim well, the letter you want. You got A, B, C, D, and E. Simple as that. And Say I'm going to get this show on the road. Wait for the lag. <laughs> Are you trying to say you wanted the, the E from the last round? Oh, Max Dan really? is taking letter B, the We Live. I heard that's really good, and I still haven't read it yet. It's sitting right over here. Mm -hmm. It's in my box to read, but yeah. then I didn't even get to read it yet. Hey, Mr. Gorell, are you claiming the E from uh, the Cleavers? Oh, okay. So he's claiming E from y'all, the Cleavers. Got it. Thank you. And you don't have to leave, Mr. Gorell. You can stay. You just don't listen to Foo. Oh, don't tell him not to listen to me. I'll be over. He can, he can tell me to leave from his show later on. So we got 30 seconds left on the clock. If anybody wants to claim any of these other books for $10, just let us know. We got some excellent, excellent books up there. And if I'm not mistaken, that new Avengers, that's the first cover appearance of Ronin, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, it's actually, I don't know about the variant. I know the importance is it's like the first appearance of Maria Hill. Because uh, there's a different cover that comes with it. But this is the variant. The, I guess the cover B. Um, it's harder to get. 
What number is that? Is How that much number is nine? this round? It's number four. Number four. Okay. It's four. It's ten dollars. Okay. It's a ten dollar yeah, round. Yeah, that's a good book. First Maria. Yeah. First Maria Hill for sure. There you go, y'all. So that was the timer. If anybody else wants to grab any of these books, uh, you know, just say so. Throw it down in the chat. Let us know. If you're doing this on the rewind, then hit him up on the Instagrams. And you want it. we'll move over to Parker and see what he's got for us. Parker! Great. Fucking Parker. Wait, that's me. Your uh, camera's a little blurry there, Captain. Oh, that's a little blurry. It's a little better now. It's okay yeah. now that you stop moving it. <laughs> I think it's because I'm on. It's just because I'm trying to be on YouTube with my laptop, so it's I can't get. I can have like one good. Sir, I can't have. Oh my god! I can't use internet on more than one device. <clears throat> no, it looks good now. All right, this is a ten dollar round. I'm gonna try to. Figured if I exit out of the YouTube stream, it'll work. Okay. Um, Ten dollar round. I think you can see the letters. Yeah. Why is it moving on its own? I'm not doing anything right now. Okay. What? Hey, we got these two. You get your first. I don't even know what they called this. It's like the first Immortal Hulk in this series, or something. I don't know. It was hot for a while. And then this is actually your first. Ugh. First Conan actually in the marvel universe so this one is a bigger deal but this one is still somehow worth more so i don't know you get uh it's ten dollars and you get both of those books there so both the keys from that run um captain marvel 22 there's a bunch of first appearances in there i don't even remember them there's a lot of shit going on in that one <clears throat> and uh all of these are near mint near mint plus they're all like nine eight candidates in my book they're all real real sharp but it's because they're all brand fucking new, and they haven't had time to be doing it. Uh, for C, you get both of these books. They are connecting black and white variants. I think it's the other way around. I think they go together like that. Yep, okay. Um, this one's not too important. It's number zero, just if you're a Deadpool or Hawkeye fan. Um, but this one is number four, which is that She-Hulk key. It's like your the death of She-Hulk or your first immortal She-Hulk. I don't agree yeah. with that, but that's what Key Collector calls it. So uh, I just don't even know why I'm doing that so cheap. You get both of those there for C. D is Century number one, first print. That's a hot series right now. Um, and E is Venom 26, your second appearance of Virus. Okay, so you got to claim your letter. It's a $10 ten, round. Yeah, ten Claim your book that you want to grab for ten dollars, and I'm dropping the starting line and getting this timer going. Shout out! We got 25 people hanging out with us in the chat right now. Appreciate y'all coming Do out. You want everything? If there's, if there's no claims, you can claim all for 40. So I'll do one free letter if you do take everything here. There you go. 40 He's for all, or ten dollars a letter. Deals and deals steals. For days. Deals for days. Why is my heater not working right? Fucking piece of shit. I don't like it. I don't like it when my heater doesn't work. I think it's because I have I have like the autofocus on, so every time my camera finds a face, it has to like zoom in on it. It's like moving on its own. It's really annoying. I don't like it when my phone does that. No. Mm -hmm. And then here's my my deets. <laughs> Keep doing that voice. Uh, was it Ned? Everybody, South Park? Everybody, everybody look up there and see what old Peter Parker's going to put up on the screen about his shipping and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you get just one book with me, it's six bucks. Anything more than that, I bump you up to the flat rate, $9, no matter how many you get. Um, you can also combine your box, your whatever you're getting with anything I sell on my IG. I've got thousands of books for sale. So feel free to check that shit out. Um, otherwise, I do sales every Monday and Tuesday here on Barb's channel. So feel free to build a box with me, make the shipping worthwhile, and we can put your books on hold and, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, you know. Burr, that was the timer right there. It did run out. 
So if anybody wants to get any of these weird comic books off of Mr. Peter Parker, just hit him up on the Instagrams. And maybe favorites? maybe he'll put some mustard on them. Maybe. I like the way you talk, though. French fried taters. All right, let's move on over to this next guy. It's that barbarian guy. He's good, and we kind of like him. All right, so uh, it's my turn. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is another $2 round. Surprise, surprise. $2 a letter. You can claim the whole table for 14 I think everybody's getting that. Every time I say $2 a letter, you can claim the whole table for 14 And they all come with a free book. Look, this one's security protected. It's good stuff. Uh, got some Spidey books in this one. You got uh, Spider-Man Saga number two. This is a cool wraparound cover. I never realized it until today when I was rebagging it. But uh, that's an awesome book right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think that this is also, too. This is uh, Spider-Man Saga number three. And these are all in great shape, too. They're not all beat up. Uh, then we got uh, Spider-Man. This is uh, Lost Years Found. Spider-Man Redemption right. number one. And got some ASM books here. We got uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 40 from volume two. Or 481, if you want to continue the legacy numbering from volume one. And we got number 41, which would be number four, uh, four, what did I just say? 480, 482. Hey, hey, there. Yeah, those are in great, great shape also. They're not all beat up. Um, how did I, I'm, I'm missing a book. I'm one short. Uh, this is a Spider-Man Ghost Rider uh, 18, side by side with the Ghost Rider. And then this is another one with Ghost Rider. This is Spider-Man number 23. And I'm going to reach behind me into this book of awesome randomness. And I'm going to pull out another $2 book. And it is Street Fighter 4 number 3. And I'm holding it on the wrong side. And it's really hard to tell what's going on there. But somebody is like doing the windmill. Breaking. Two bucks a letter. Claim all for 14 Just be quick, and you can have them all. There you go. We got the $2 round started. Uh, yeah, I got the timer going and the starting line down. If anybody sees anything up here you want to pick up, just let me know. Or forever hold your peace. We got Max Sand claiming F and G. F and G. Tell me E again. Uh, e is uh, ASM number four. Damn it, I dropped my fucking phone. Good dumb phone. Shit. Something just happened. Oh, I came unplugged. E is uh, ASM 41. It's, uh, the legacy numbering is 482. And then it's the one right after this. This one's 40 and this is 41. Why am I all tangled up in cords? Oh, I'm on the wrong wheel. Damn it! Oh, we got 20 seconds left. I am totally... I hate cords. Why are there even cords? Why is that even a thing anymore? We live in the 21st century here. Shouldn't headphones and cell phones not have cords anymore? Um... Oh, so okay, so you want to get E? D and E, okay. D and E and F. It was F and G, right? F and G, of course it was. And guess what your free books are? I bet you can't guess, right? Robotech, number... Oh, this is the illustrated handbook, number three. So you can learn everything you need to know about Robotech. And Robotech Cyber Pirates, number three. And Robotech Cyber Pirates Sentinels, number two. <gasps> Could this be number one? Probably not. Oh, it is number one. What do you know? So you get one through three of Robotech Cyber Pirates. Excellent choice. Thank you very much. And if anybody else wants to get any of these, just let me know. And I can make that happen. We lost Parker. So Big O, what's up, man? What you got for me? 
I'm going to do another uh, $2 round. Um, and I'll, I think I'm going to steal steal your uh, your play here. And I'm going to say we got, what is that, eight books. So $14 claims them all. all right. Oh, my camera's That'll all work. jacked up. It's all that. jacked up on Mountain Dew. There we go. Um, uh, it's a bunch of uh, Hulk books. So I got Incredible Hulk 277 up in the A. In the B, it's Incredible Hulk 365. In C, it's 367. Uh, in D, it's 372. Um, in the E spot, it's actually 293 or 393, excuse <laughs> me, the homage cover from uh, Incredible Hulk 1. Um, in the F spot, it's Incredible Hulk 400. In G is Iron Man 247, and then in H is Iron Man 260. Again, $2 a book or 14 will claim them all. Oh, no. What did I did the wrong button? No shit. Okay. Oh, we're good now. Okay. We got the starting line dropped in there. $2 round. Get your $2 claims in there. $14 is going to take them all. You got some dope-ass books up there, man. Yep. Some some good Hulk books, some little minor keys in there here and there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, most of them have a book behind as well. I know in the in the C spot, like that's a that's a key book. I can't mm -hmm. remember what it is, but I remember it being a key. And uh, there's I know a couple the, of them. Yeah, the shiny shiny is down there at the bottom. Those are always nice. Two bucks, y'all. Two bucks a letter. It gives a little, throw, puts a little mystery into your life, a little spice, a little pizzazz. You never know what to expect. Something's back there. What could it be? It could be anything. You never know. <laughs> hey, you never know. You might read the Robotech, and it could be your new favorite. You never know. Could be. Stranger things have happened. It's funny, I'm going through this box trying to find other stuff to pick up and, and put out, and I, there, I've got Robotech in this box that I, that I got from my buddy. So See, it's popular. Everybody's, everybody likes Robotech. It's every, well, the only one he's got is the swimsuit issue. So I don't have that one, see? <laughs> we got like five seconds on the clock. If anybody wants to grab any of these books... Yep, Drop it like in the chat right now. You got right now. Just do it right now. I want to see it. Let me see it. Do it right now. <clears throat> $14 will take all of them, and then you get a free one. But let, me know. let me know if anybody wants these Hulk books. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you see this on the Rewind, just hit up Big O on the Instas and yeah, <laughs> get, you, uh, get you some of this good stuff. And we're going to move over to the Cleavers and see what's up. What you got for me? Hello. Hola. We have a uno dollar round. Uno dollar. Unos. No, one. All right. I'm taking one of Pooh's and Southern's ideas, and I'm just throwing a book behind them. Today I have Fantastic Four number nine, Torch and Spidey together again. I have... B is Justice League Adventures number 34. C is Hard Looks number 5 from Dark Wars. I hope I just didn't glare that. Some hard, look. looks. hard Looks. Hard Looks. What did I say? Hard looks. Okay, good. There's some Hard Looks. At least I read it right. Um, D is Jack of Fables from Vertigo. Yep, that one don't look too bad. E, I have Impulse number 12 from DC. F, I have Impulse number 13. I have three copies of this, so if three people need it, y'all can get three copies. Yeah. Same way with 14. I have three people can get number 14 on G. And I have two copies of Impulse Annual 1996 1. And. Two people can get that. And there's a book behind each one. All right, all right. I'm got some book, impulse love up there. I hope uh I hope uh Hoser's still in the chat. 
I think he likes some impulse. Maybe it was somebody else. I can't remember. But we're going to get this starting line down. One dollar round. Get your dollar books. Throw them in your box. They keep all the other books safe and warm. We got the timer rolling and the starting line down. So if anybody sees anything up there they want to pick up, now's your chance. <coughs> Let's see who's going to be the lucky next round for me. Hey, y'all in the chat, let me know if anybody in here is looking for books from the Die series. Not Die, 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 but the Die. Just one Die. One Die. <laughs> just a single Die. Da, 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 da. Oh, Sir McKee. Was it Dank? I was thinking, I, I couldn't remember if, I was thinking it was either you or it was Den that showed all the impulse books one day in the chat. I couldn't remember who it was. We got 15 seconds left on the chat on the clock. They're a dollar, folks, and you get a free book. So yeah, that so you get a mystery good. book behind there. 50 cents for the one you see and 50 cents for the one you don't. And you're taking a chance on that one. And what is life but one big chance? Right. That's what the agoraphobic in me tells me every day. Well, it looks like there's no love for the dollar books. But if anybody in here decides, hey, give me some dollar books and you want to pick up some of these, then let the cleavers know because they can make that happen for you. Yep. Thank we'll you. Move over Thanks. here to Weapon X and see uh, see what he's got for us this round. What you got for me, Mike? All right, it's gonna be a twenty-five dollar round. Ooh, Mister Garrell, turn your head. We got some bronze. All right, so Strange. in A, we got Doctor Strange number ten. Uh, in B, we got Old Man Logan twenty-five uh, variant. Did cover. you say fifteen dollar or ten dollar? Twenty-five. 25. I'm sorry. 25. Oh, I was way off. And in C, we got uh, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number one. And then also I have uh, this Maestro, number one variant as well for 25. Dang. Them some good books right there. We'll do A, B, C, D. All right, y'all, you know what to do. Get your claim in there, $25 a letter. Got some heat. Got some heat on the table, y'all. We got the timer going and the starting line down. I like the Maestro book, Clayton Crane. He does a good oh, work. Yeah. I don't know nothing about Maestro or anything about what that... I don't even know where the hell he's from, but I think it looks cool. <laughs> I'm assuming he's a Hulk character. <laughs> it's Hulk in the future, if I remember. It's like somehow Hulk in the future. Oh, weird. All right, so we got like 45 seconds left on the clock. Not quite enough time to run and, and Google search and look at eBay and look this stuff up on, you know, the Key Collector app. This is kind of a get in there while you can type of deal. But uh, everything's always going to be priced well. As you can guarantee that. Not a lot of overpriced stuff. <laughs> Max said, said, add more time, please. It's okay, because if you are looking it up and you miss the timer, you can still get it later as long as it's there. You just say, hey, Weapon X, let me get that whatever book. Because that is the timer. So if anybody wants to get these books, just drop it in the chat. Let us know, hey, I want to get that book or this book. I, wanna, I want some strange. Let me get some strange on the side, and uh, we can make that happen for you. Just uh, hit Weapon X up on Instagram if you've seen this on the Rewind and want to pick one of these up. And it looks like Parker has decided to come back. So what you got for us, Parker? 
Hey, uh, real quick, Barbara, I'm going to step away to grab something to eat with the family, so I may skip around. Okay, that's cool. Just whenever you come back, just unmute your mic, and then I'll know you're back. Will do. What a treat. Eat with the family. Come on. We're your family. <laughs> okay, uh, $5 round. Claim by letter. I don't know what you guys can see. I see everything. Yeah, I see everything. Everything. Finish. First of all, I don't know. Oh, my. Those are some scary books right there. Oh, my goodness. I might need you to hold me. Okay, $5 round. I got some horror comics there. Those oh, my. Do usually go for a little bit. They're not cheap. They're hard to find. Um, the Haunted Horror reprints. Ah, it's all blurry. Why is everything blurry? Does life hate me? Um, I got issue 25. You want a popsicle? <laughs> yeah. 25. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. <laughs> 26 and 30. And then I got Marvel Zombie number one. And then <sighs> Monsters Unleashed number one. I think it's number one. But it's you can homage. take your shirt off. That'd be fine. Uh, it's Monsters Unleashed number seven. But, oh, can't, cameras. But, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's an awesome book. One of those dumb lenticulars. I mean, awesome lenticulars, lenticulars that came out so well. It, it like, turns the see, other way. To, yeah, there you go. Side like, to side. You can side. see both of them so clearly. No, I hate these things. But yeah, if you were looking for an FF1... Cover swipe. They have an alien one coming out soon. Marvel versus like Ridley Scott alien. They're going to do a whole variant month of that. Mm, Steven Spock wants a popsicle. Hmm. You may put one in your box. Big bone. Yeah, the FF one is a homage. All right, y'all. So $5 round. $5 a letter. Claim your books. Get your books for $5. Now's your chance to do it. Let's do it to it like Sonny Pruitt. And, uh, there you go. I got the starting line down and the timer rolling. Got some Simon Garth zombie. That is the original Marvel zombie. Mm -hmm. Not yes. to be mistaken with the Marvel zombies, plural. Different. Different. Different but good. No doubt. Um, and if you want A, B, and C, if you get all three, I'll do $12. So four each for these three. Steven Spock wants a bunch of fairies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if you want everything up here for some reason, I, I'll do four for all of them. So 20, 20 for the table. Y'all heard him. 20 bucks gets all the books. He's going to throw them all in one box. So you get Very one letter for free. Gingerly. Or you He's can get all three of these for 12 or five each. So what you gonna do? Are you gonna bid? You're gonna claim? And not a bid. You know this is not bids. I just totally blew it. I turned this into an auction. Not a bid. It's a claim. Wait. We got 15 seconds on the clock. 15 more seconds to grab one of these sweet, sweet horror books. You probably have never seen these before ever, and you're like, those are just awesome, but I don't know anything about them. Well, that's when you buy them. Is when you first see them the first time. You don't wait. You don't these are really later because then they could be gone, gone, gone. Just these are like all the time. Thick. They're all like really thick books as well. And they yeah. each one contains about five stories. Thick books. Thick. thick. That's how we like it is thick. Yeah. <laughs> we like a thick book in our box. All right. That was the timer. So uh, if anybody decides that they want to grab a hold of some of these thick books, then uh, hit Parker up. On the Instagrams, he's Instagram famous, but he'll still pay you enough attention to help you get these books. And we'll go over here to me because I got another $2 round. I like doing the $2 rounds. I hope everybody else likes the $2 rounds because uh, that's my wheel horse right there. That's my sweet spot. $2 a letter. Claim all for 14 This is a little DC mixed lot of stuff, just some whatevers. But... uh. Some cool books, nonetheless. This is a nice, clean copy of Warlord number 70. It's a nice uh, furry booty cover. <laughs> it's a newsstand, too. <laughs> She's got a furry booty. <laughs> uh, this is uh, 
Green Arrow 45. This is the B cover. That's in there, man. It's never been read. Uh, and we got Catwoman number four. Firing a, a freaking AR. Uh, well, no, that's a, that's a freaking AK-47. Kind of looks like it. Uh, with this right here, this is Flash 47. It's uh, that uh, Harley's little black book. It's been opened. The The book is uh, the black and white like sketch with the trade. If you want to see it, I can. I can pull it out. Um, but uh, it's only two bucks. I did it again. I'm one book short. Why did I do that? Uh, next is Detective Comics 35. Nice clean copy. It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark, but good stuff. That's part one of something. And then this is number 33 for Detective Comics 33, new 52. It's too many numbers in DC stuff. It should just be number one or number two. This is Detective Comics New 5232. <laughs> and let me reach again into my box of randomness, see if I can find another $2 book. Oh, I forgot I was going to talk about all these things, too. Uh, I don't know why this was in my $2 books. Power Rangers, Free Comic Book Day, Road to Ranger Slayer. It was in my box, so it's number one. I don't know if that makes a difference, but two bucks a letter. Get your books. Two bucks each. 14 takes the whole table. So if anybody wants any of those, just throw it in there in the chat. We can make that happen for you. I got the timer going. The starting line down. Joey Bag of Seven said he's going to take them all. Coming in swinging. There you go, Joe. Oh, man, you're going to love all your free books. I have a theme today. We got theme free books. I, I think uh, I need to bag up some more free books because I don't have any more. This is it. I didn't expect to, them to all go so fast. Jeez. All right, so there's the books you bought. Here's your free books. You get Robotech Invaders, number 11. Robotech Sentinels, book one. This is number 20. You get Robotech Sentinels number 18 and Robotech Sentinels number 16 and <laughs> Robotech Sentinels number 19. Looks like she's in a red dress. Robotech, uh, this is from Eternity Comics number two. Ooh, new generation Robotech number eight. That's a good one. That's an old one. And the last but not least is Robotech Invid War number 13. So congratulations on that, Joey. And I'm going to say this for today. I mean, it's really for any sale. But if you don't want the free books I put up there, you don't have to take them. I know they take up space in your box. So like, if you don't want any of them, don't feel bad. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you say, I don't want none of that shit. But uh, there you go, sir. Appreciate that. And uh, we're going to move on over to Big O. See what he's got up. Yep, I am ready to roll. <laughs> um, this is going to be a $10 round. Did something happen? Changing it up a little bit. Um, in the A spot, we've got Wolverine Battle Battles the Incredible Hulk. That's actually um, a little bit thicker sized book. It is reprint of uh, Incredible Hulk 180, 181, and 182, which is Wolverine's first appearance. Uh, in the B spot, we got Warlock and the Infinity Watch, number one, as well as Warlock Chronicles, number one. How much did you say this round was? I'm sorry. $10 round. $10. Okay, thank you. In the C spot, we've got Gardens of the Galaxy, number 25, great uh, Galactus cover. And on the back, Cyberspace 3000, another awesome Galactus cover. Oop. I probably need to hold a little bit lower without the glare so you guys can see these. <laughs> um, in the D spot, we've got Spider-Man 2099. That's one through five. In the E spot, we've got Spawn Batman uh, from Image Comics. In F, we've got Batman versus Predator. Um, in the G spot, we've got Deadpool Circle Chase, number one. And then in the H spot, Incredible Hulk, number uh, I believe that's 330. That's the first uh, McFarlane on Incredible Hulk. 
Yeah, yeah, that is. That's his first uh, cover work. All right, y'all, that's $10 a letter. Get your $10 claims. I'm going to drop this starting line and get the timer rolling. You know what to do. Get them books before someone beats you to them. It didn't send again. There. There we go. Now I sent it. So we got the timer going now, and the starting line is down. Yeah, that's uh, not only his first uh, work on Hulk, but it's his first cover work. Uh, he did he did interiors on uh some other book one of those new universe books mm -hmm. shout out to yeah. c clicks what's up man thanks for coming out yeah z was saying something about the new setup and it change it up where you're, this is actually my um filing cabinet for my, for all of my books and stuff and i've got it i've got the um the doors opened so it's got a nice platform to go off of oh did you take the covers off of the doors is that what you did mm -mm. so i i'll show you here after this round the um what it is is the doors pulls out it's like one of the lateral uh medical filing cabinets yeah so they pull out and up so that they kind of give a little platform above so that's when i'm resting the books on them oh so. i gotcha I, I i totally gotcha so. Yeah, we got five seconds left if anybody wants to get any. Five more seconds. It's your last chance. Get in there while you can. That's the timer. So no takers on the $10 books. Well, all good. Keep on trying. Keep on throwing them out there for everybody. Yeah, if anybody wants to get any of these, just let, just let Big O know. Remember, he's trying to sell all these books for his friend, get him some money, and uh, any help you can get would be would be great. What is that? Oh, that's something else. Sorry. Uh, and I'm gonna move over to the cleavers now. Hello, Howdy. Oh, Jay Blitz we got to dial around right again. Now asking what I'm doing, and it's like, don't you look, watch YouTube? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, ah. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> um, what? I got some Superman on the top and some Kabuki on the bottom. And again, everyone's got a free book behind it. Yep. Hey, every one of them a dollar. So basically, you're paying 50 cents for this book and 50 cents for that book. Or a dollar here if you don't like that book. I don't know. I have Superman, Man of Steel, number 42. Uh, Superman, Man of Steel, 59. Superman in Action Comics, Sorry, what did you say this round was? How much was it? Dollar, okay. Dollar round. One dollar. One dollar. I have Superman, 113. Superman, uh, Annual 1996, number eight. Legionnaires, three, number one. Kabuki, issue two, act two, and Kabu Kabuki, Dreams of the Dead. Is there a number on that? I do not see a number on it. Yeah, I do not. You see might a have to look at it's the Kabuki. inside on the on the whatever that thing's called on the inside. It should say inside the book what number it is if it's not on the book. Caliber Comics, Painted Story by David Mack, Kabuki, Dreams of the Dead. There's no number. He said look on the inside. Uh, inside, okay. I missed that part, honey. It does not have a number. It's just words and art by David Mack. This is yeah, probably, probably a one off. There's no one numbers. shot. But it's Kabuki. It's only a dollar, too, by the way. Did, did they forget to mention that? And it comes with. Yeah, does no. it have a free book behind it, too? That's <laughs> yeah, pretty. There's the free book right here. All right. So there you go. One dollar <laughs> round, y'all. One dollar. Get your claims. Uh, Oh, then they're even going to get you a free book. Seven dollars takes them all. 
which comes with a free book. <laughs> so for seven dollars, you get sixteen books. That's shit! What a bargain! Yeah. That is a bargain for me. One dollar round. We got the starting line down, and we got the timer rolling. Don't miss out on these books for that stupid price right there. That's a stupid deal. Don't pass it up. Shout out to we got Jay Blitz in the in the show in this in the chat. What's up, man? We got Tacoma Comics coming in. What's up, man? Thanks for coming out, guys. We're up to thirty people now. Let's see how many thumbs we got. We got nineteen thumbs up, so we're quite a ways away from the one hundred. And we have zero thumbs down, so we're quite a ways away from the 75. Looks like we're not going to be giving away a free slab again today. I had such high hopes. We will someday. You will someday. Oh, yeah. Someday. Someday. Uh, Tacoma's taking letter H. He wants the Kabuki. Who does? Letter H. Uh, Tacoma you. Comics. And there is your free book. I can't see it. It's Maverick number 12. Oh, what's up, Kachung? Kabuki? Mr. Kabuki Man. Officer Kabuki Man was one of my favorite movies. Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki Man. Yeah, Tromaville. Roma. That is the timer. So, <laughs> Tacoma said, keep the Maverick. <laughs> okay. He's saying he doesn't want that Maverick. <laughs> How can you not want Maverick? He's such a tough guy. Yeah. I mean, All right. You come in here on the Rewind and want to get you some dollar books, just hit up the Cleavers, and they can make that happen for you. And let's see. Let's move over to Weapon X. Oh, wait. Weapon X is still eating. So, we're going to move over to Parker. Parker! Shit. What do you got up there, Parker? Parker! Shit, oh, I didn't bag up any more free books. I forgot to bag up the free books. I had free right. books left to bag up. We got a $5 round here. Can't even see anything. Good enough. Okay. Um. Whatever. I'll show the ones behind so you can see. Daredevil Wait, lot there. here. Five dollars each letter. Let me go through them. It's too bright. Oh, now it's very bright. Okay. I don't think you've ever um, been accused of that. You're <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Letter A. Oh, wow. Sorry. Clearly very funny. Uh, letter A, you're going to get Daredevil Father number one and Daredevil two. Where he's acting like a, a very bad father and trying to throw a kid off a roof. Oh, he's like Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. He totally pulls a Michael Jackson in this series. Kevin Smith took Daredevil to some dark places, I'll tell you. Uh, you get both of those for five bucks. They're not connected by any means. I just threw them together. B is 241. Uh, it's McFarlane's like second, I guess, uh, interior work for Marvel. Um, it's a Zek cover. Uh, first appearance of the Trickster with an X. There was a Trickster spelled normally, but McFarlane's, one of his first works was he created this devil-looking dude who caused bad luck, basically. Great uh, great issue. It's a Christmas book. I, I recommend it. It's a high-grade one. Uh, reprints of this exist in the Daredevil Marvel Legends figure. It's like a Toy Biz reprint. Yeah. How much did you Good say this round was? I'm sorry. Five dollars. Okay. Um, so five for that. Don't fall, please. Uh, and C, you get issue 300 and 306. 306, 306. 306 is just yeah, a little extra. I... 300 mm -hmm. is very it's a tough book, all black. Not really a single spine tick. Very sharp. I'd call it very fine plus near mint minus at least. You could probably press it into a Higher near mint. I don't know. I don't know. But 300 and 306 there. 300th double sized issue special. That's for C. D is Daredevil 602, and it's like a Deadpool variant type thing. Um, Deadpool, the man without fear. And $5, not six. That's what I paid stupidly. 
Yeah, that's the Merc, the Merc without <laughs> fear. Uh, and E, E's a good one. You get two books for there, two number ones. I don't, I can't see. Um, E, you get Beware the Daredevil. Real cool. Um, and with it, Daredevil Shadowland. No, it's just Shadowland after the fall, number one, with Daredevil cover. That's Finch. Yeah. Doesn't really look like it, but you get a, some Finch art there. Both number ones. Oops. That's letter E. $5 for those. Uh, for the set. For five a letter. Go ahead and claim. You get two books with three of them. There you go, y'all. Five dollars starting. I dropped the five dollar line in there. Got it going. What happened? Quite laggy. Uh, got the timer rolling and the five dollar line down. So if anybody wants to claim some books, now is your chance to get them. Five dollars each. Get some Daredevil. You need some Daredevil you in your life. Twenty for everything on the table. So again, you get a free letter. You claim all. You gotta claim all before anybody claims one. Oh, um, and I have some. I don't have any Daredevil in the 200s. I don't even know if Hoser's still with us, but I have a bunch in like the 170s, 180s, like the Miller run. Ooh, so I just got a. Uh, I got a first appearance of Blackheart today. Did you? I want one of those. It's like yeah. 270 or something. Maybe 370. Shh, something like that. Yeah. 270. Yeah, 270. Does it tell if he kills the baby? <laughs> Max wants to know. Uh, can I spoil it? Will anybody be mad? I think if you were to to read us the book, it might sell better. Hmm. I could do that. Well, we got eight seconds left. Can you do it that fast? <laughs> no, I'm not going to bother. He did have a but good Mysterio, excuse. He is blind. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there is a, is a Mysterio arc. If you like Mysterio, and there's some crazy events happen in issue four with Bullseye and a certain lover of Daredevil. Who dies. <gasps> That's sad. Dun, dun, dun. But that is the time, y'all. So if anybody comes in here and wants to grab any of these books from Parker, let him know in the chat. If anybody catches this on the rewind, and you want to grab some of these books from Parker, let him know on Instagram where he's got 10 billion books for sale and they're all reasonably priced and he has great shipping rates. So that's what you do. And I got another $2 round, but you can see that uh, I ran out of free books. Not that I ran out of them. I ran out of them being bagged and boarded. So if anybody ran wants a free Ro Robotech book with their yeah. purchase, feel free to let me know and I can make that happen for you. Because I probably have a long time full of Robotech. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a two dollar round. That's enough. That's enough of that that jibber jabber. Fourteen will take the whole table, and this is a bunch more X Men books. Hopefully, they like these books better than they like the last ones. And we'll start out with some classic X Men. So these uh, uh, the first book is not near mint, but it is a cool cover swipe of X Men one where they're attacking Magneto in the bubble. Um, this is probably a, a fine somewhere in there. It's a reader copy. So just know that. Two bucks. Then I got a little run here of Magnolia covers, X-Men Classic 63. That's probably very fine. It's got a spine tick or two on it. Um, got a 80, uh, 64, another newsstand. This one's in a little bit nicer shape. Probably near mint, minus near mint, somewhere around in there. Uh, you got 65, another new stand. Um, same with this one. It's got like one tiny little spine tick on it. So it's it's nice. Good stuff. And then you got uh, number 66. So it's a nice little run. X-Men Classic, all Mignola covers, all $2 each. All in great shape. Look at there. Uh, we got Flashback X-Men number one. This is the Magneto one. Pretty cool cover. That's in real great shape. Uh, then we got some X, Astonishing X-Men number one. Um, this is uh, the regular cover, I do believe. Get underneath there. It just doesn't want to fit in the G-spot. And then last but not least is X-Men 2099 number one. Nice shiny shine shines. 
So two bucks a letter, 14 is going to take the whole table. And like I said, if you want a free Robotech book, just tell me, give me some free books and I'll show you some because I can make that happen. I have that ability. Uh, but the starting line is down. Timer's going. <laughs> I thought it was a wiggly watermelon. It was all wiggling and crying, but I didn't know what it was. You got Tacoma. It looks like he's taking A and B. And C and D and E. All right, so he wants all the X-Men classics. You know, for four more dollars, you can have all of them. But, you know, I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. <clears throat> And, and Tacoma, let me know if you want some uh, free Robotech books. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be jumping at the opportunity, chomping at the bit to get some free Robotech. And Tacoma's getting himself on the wheel. And I can show real quick again what the person who wins on the wheel is going to be getting this awesome super cool secret warriors trade paperback number one so that's kind of cool if somebody's into that <laughs> mlv wants all the unclaimed soul free books <clears throat> that's not packing material those are good comics packing material is only stuff that i think sucks <laughs> doesn't matter what anybody else says <laughs> All right, so that's the timer. If anybody wants to get any of these last couple books here, just hit me up and let me know. And uh, I wasn't joking, Tacoma. If you want some some Robotech books to throw in there, uh, let me know. I'm going to move over to Big O, see what he's got for us this round. It's yeah. like some hangers. Trying, trying to pick it up just a little bit. Um, all, all of these books are in VF, VF+, Plus, uh, except for – the uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number 21 here. This is going to be the only one that has uh, some wear, so it's really more of a just a throw-in because of the way that the, sp the spine is kind of just a little bit you know, beat up. So good reader copy for somebody that maybe doesn't have it. Um, this is going to be a $20 uh, round. So in the A position, it's a four-book lot. Um, you got Amazing Spider-Man number 198, Great Mysterio cover. Again, really, really nice condition. Um, it also has Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man 374. is uh, one of the Venom Returns kind of storylines. Like I said, that uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 21 is the Mary Jane uh, Peter Parker wedding. Um, Amazing Spider-Man Skating on Thin Ice is the fourth book in that lot. Um, in the B position, you got Shadow of the Bat 1 through 4. Um, if you guys remember, uh, number one is the first appearance of Victor Zaz. In the C spot, we've got uh, Venom Lethal Protector 1 through 4. Um, the two big books in this group, number one and number four, with all of the first appearances in number four. And then in the, um, the D spot, we have a couple What If books. Uh, what If uh, number three, number four, and then number 27. Um, I want to say number four is the death of um, the Captain America book uh, or the, the spirit of 76. And then 27 is the, what if Phoenix had not died? And then number three hit the carpet. So we're good. Again, $20 All right. round. All right, y'all $20. Get your claims in $20 a lot. Got some sweet ass books up there. Some sweet ass books. Got the timer going and the starting line down. <laughs> Steven Spock said, Give Tacoma my Robotech books. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll throw it in his box. Amy Cleaver is taking letter C. Yep. The Venoms. Oh, okay, MLB. I'll have to hit him up, see if he wants some. <laughs> and again, all of these Venoms are in great, great shape. 
Yeah, that's a good price on them books too. Not too shabby. Yep, trying to, like I said, just trying to get rid of them for him. And it is uh, just after nine o'clock right now, so we probably got about three more rounds in us. If everything moves swiftly, should be about three more rounds. We'll see. Okay. Sounds good to me. And I have more what if books. Uh, I've got just a couple more from the the first volume, and then I've got a good bunch from the second volume. So if anybody's trying to fill any holes in in there, um, not some of the bigger ones where like the the what if Jane Foster. I think that's what number nine or ten. Um, but yeah. I, I do have a, a couple of the other ones. I don't unfortunately have number one either. But there are some throughout that are some of the minor keys in the what if run that they might be doing onto that uh, TV show eventually. All right, so that was the timer. So uh, looks like there's no love for any of the rest of the books. I can't believe nobody picked up that ASM lot, man. You got uh, that and I've got cover right there. You got that. <laughs> the I've got some more. I've got some more um, ASM from um, the collection, but I got to see which ones that I need. I, I know I've got a a two ninety eight, um, a three sixty five. Um, a 375. There's a couple in there that uh, I've got to look at, but you know, hopefully I'll be able to jump back on with you maybe and I'll have them uh, next time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, oh, Jay Blitz is asking, what is Robotech? Robotech is this awesome comic run and it, it ties in with Walking Dead, so I bet you'll want them all. Nobody got that? Uh, let's see. We're going to go over to the Cleavers. It doesn't tie into Walking Dead. It was a joke. Hello. We're back. We're going to try this again. Oh, well, lame. You're lame, we'll Parker. Four dollar book. I got one dollar. You said one dollar. One dollar. Gotcha. Thank you. Uno De Niro. Number three. Magical Maids. The Max, number three. We have the Ultimates 2, issue number 9, Grand Theft America. We have Amazing Spider-Man Daily Bugle, number 1 of 5. We have Revolution, number 5, from IDW. It has Transformers, G.I. Joe, something else in there, I'm not sure. I uh, have Probably The really Wacky good. Witch, from Whitman. I have Witchblade number 15. That's a Turner. Code. And from Dark Horse, I have Madman Comics. Number four. Number four. All right, all right. So $1. Oh, for a dollar letter. $1. Did it, Seven dollars. Get your $1 claims in. Grab a letter for $1. You got a nice Michael Turner cover up there. You got some early Max. Lots of good stuff for $1. I know it's not Robotech, but it is. We have the nice Jimmy Doritos, too. Put the Doritos away, honey. I feel like saying if nobody Shut claims up, any of these that you're going to take the sticker off of the doorknob hole and Steven Spock's just going to have to deal with it. Right. Because dog yeah. catches lizard. Yeah, Max, it's, it's totally yours. That's what the doorknob says. Frankenweiner. I think I have a Frankenweiner comic up here I can put up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if I could just reach over in this box and pull out a Frankenweiner? We got 40 seconds left on the clock. 40 seconds, $1 a letter. You got some 70s Whitman up there that looks like it's in pretty nice shape. You got some Turner. You got some yeah. new Spidey. You got the Max for a buck. The Max. The Max. We got Magical Mates. I don't know what that is, but it sounds Ooh. cool. Oh, yeah, and they got a free book with them, too. Oh, see there? Yeah. It's got a free book, too, y'all. And it's probably yeah, not Robotech. 16 books. I bet it's better than Robotech, too. 
What isn't? Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Max? Are you trying to say they need to pull up some? No. Uh, Max is taking letter B. She wants the Max. And I want to see what's behind it. The Max? What's yeah. behind door number B? I'm not even sure. Oh, look at that. The flash number 58. There's a lot of flashes on that cover. Yeah. I can't even count them that fast. Can I just pick it up and give you a dollar cash? <laughs> um, yeah, because y'all aren't far away, are they? Where, where, where are you at? Who? Max. Can I just pick it up and give you a dollar cash? <laughs> Depends on where you're at. Uh, let's oh, see. Y'all yeah, okay. can figure that out in the chat. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, that's cool. You'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm going to move over to Weapon X now. Oh, Thank sweet. Uh, Y'all can set up your, your main street. <laughs> All right. This is a $30 round. Uh, I'm going to do some $30 slabs. $30 shit. So in uh, A, we got a uh, drama number one. Which is the first uh, appearance, first full color appearance of uh, Don, the character here. And uh, B, we got X Men 255 and a 9.2 with the death of Stonewell and Destiny. And in C, I'm going to do a X Factor number 196. Oh, nice. For 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Just trying That's to get rid of them. Steal right there. Room. That's a goddamn steal right there. And then this is the one. It's not for sale, but I wanted to show you something. Y'all talking about Robotech. Matt Cross, number one. See, y'all sleeping on Robotech. Even Weapon X knows. He's probably wishing he was claiming all these books for me so he could get them for free. <laughs> All right, so we got these three slabs up here. You got A, B, and C. $30. Claim your letter. We're going to get this show on the road. Where else can you get $30 slabs? Nowhere but right here at the Barbarian Kung Fu Bargain Blowout B-I-N Bash. <laughs> Rama. That's right. We got the timer going, and the starting line is down. What? Oh, Max's phone's messing up. Kick it in the river! 30 bucks, y'all. You got some slabs in the near mint or near mint plus range for freaking 30 bucks. Cost more than 30 bucks to send a book off and get it graded and get it back to you. That's crazy. I'm surprised Parker's not getting any since he's a new slab collector. <laughs> that is true. I have a slab now. You got another slab coming to you, too. Unless I well, keep yeah, that's it. That's what I mean. <laughs> I might just keep it. I'm thinking about it. I have it right, I have it right now, so I might just keep it hostage. <laughs> Don't do it. Ten seconds left on the clock. Thirty dollars. Get your slabs for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars slabs. Come on, come on. Slabs all around. That's the timer, y'all. No takers on the slabs. Thirty bucks, man. That X Factor number one, nine point six for thirty bucks is crazy. Crazy. Okay, so if anybody comes in here, man, catching this on the rewind. Wants to pick up any of these books, hit up Weapon X on the Insta and see if maybe he's going to be nice enough to sell them for this price later, man. I don't know. You never know. You can't ever tell. Um, but we'll move over to Parker now and see what Parker's got for us. Okay. What the hell is going on up here? Um, $10 round. It's all blurry. I can't see anything. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, ten dollar round. You my letter, I can go from Shit. Um, A is like first Tim Drake, something like that. Uh, and hot, they, I think they're all 
all except E are really, really high grade, like very fine or near mint. Um, B is newsstand X Factor. It's like the first cover appearance of the Horseman of the Apocalypse. It's not really that important, but that's uh, X Factor 19. Um, C is Thor 705, The Death of Jane Foster. Um, obviously, she didn't stay dead because she's Valkyrie now. Uh, D is Iron Man 169. That's the first time Rhodey put on the armor. The Iron Man armor. And E is Phantom Stranger number four, which I'd still call very good. Very good find. It's definitely a mid-grade cop. The rest are all high-grade. I mean, the Iron Man 169 is a near-mint candidate. Uh, I would slab-worthy for sure. So is A. So is C. A, C, and D are like 9, 6, or 9, 8 without even trying. But as always, you should press your books and whatnot. But always yeah 10 a letter 10 a letter yeah if you're gonna pay the money to get them graded always press them there you go y'all 10 bucks get your claims in 10 dollars a letter 10 bucks a book you got some sweet ass books up there i'll take five off if you claim all of them so that's 45 oh amy don't encourage i do her. have some more if, none of, <laughs> if no one's interested in these uh throw put pass in the chat and i can throw up some more i'm kind of throw some more up to you but these won't be a part of the claim all thing it's just for these right here a through e ten dollars each um if there's no takers on those here's a few more i have dynamic classics number one maybe that's what dc stands for mm, no detective comics but uh it's a neil adams book some Simonson in there. Yeah, 30 seconds left on the clock. Pretty nice shape. Dynamic Classics number one, 10 bucks. Also, I have all of these, 10 bucks each. Um, <laughs> Nick Fury Shield number two is a little water damage. Other than that, it's complete and whatnot attached. Good reader copy, 10 bucks. Steranko. Here's some more Steranko. These are 10 each, not together. Number six also has a little water damage. Oh, there's my timer. All right. So, yeah, those are 10 bucks each if you're interested. Or I got these still. Just hit me up on the rewind if you want. Yeah, if anybody wants to grab any of these books, just let Parker know. That was the timer. So, we're going to. Oh, wait. It's my turn to go now, isn't it? Okay. So, we're going to jump over here to me. I can't remember which books I set up here. Hang on. Okay. So, this is. Uh, this is going to be a $5 round. Oh, yeah, I'm stepping up my game here. $5 claim a letter for 5 bucks, Or instead of it being uh, 45 or $40, it'll be $35 for the whole table. So you'll get a free book. If you claim everything, you'll get a free $5 book. First one up we got, this is uh, Teen Titans number 20. It's like the first appearance of Crush. Nice near mint copy. It's even in a Mylar. It's so fancy. Uh, next up, we got uh, New Teen Titans number four. This is a lower grade. It's not like low grade, like, oh, my God, it's falling apart. But it's just this white cover. It needs clean pretty bad. Um, but it, it, doesn't, it's, it does have a couple spine ticks. And I'd say it's at least – what did I put on here? I put fine. So it's in the fine range. If it was cleaned and pressed, you could probably get it up to a very fine. But it does have a couple spine ticks on it. Uh, next up, we got X Men Prime number one. This is the the venomized variant. You get Venom Storm with her mohawk and all these other awesome venomized characters. Uh, here's a here's another weapon. Uh, classic X Men number seventy nine. This is the Adam Hughes cover. This too is it's got a it's got some spine ticks on it, so it's not near mint. I have it at a fine to very fine, somewhere in that area. That's why it's in the five dollar round and not in a higher dollar round because it's definitely worth way more than that near mint. It is a new stand too, actually. Um, and then this, uh, this is, I wrote down the uh, Avengers 678. It's the battle lines variant. So you got some sweet rogue on the cover, blowing you a kiss while she's about to punch you in the face. It's nice. Uh, here we go. Here's young blood too. This is the green logo one. First appearance of profit in there. Nice clean copy of that book. Uh, we got uh, Alpha Flight 106. 
This is a nice high grade copy of this book. Uh, it does have a, it's got a mark on it. It's got a mark right there. So it's kind of hard to see, but you can see, I don't know if that'll clean off or what, but, uh, other than that, it's in really good shape. I got it at near mint because that's the only thing I could find wrong with it. And I actually have it priced at eight bucks, but I'm putting it in my five dollar round. And then last but not least, look, it's another copy of this X Factor number 19. But this one's only five dollars. Um, and uh, it's it's really nice, too. It's got a, like a one or two little spine ticks on it. It has this weird ink spot right there. It looks like a fingerprint, but it's the color. It's from the printer. So. If you want to run the, the fingerprint analysis on it, you can blame the guy at the printing press. Five bucks a letter. 35 takes all of them. If you want all of them, just claim all before anything else. And they could be yours. What do you know? All right. Let's see. It's uh, almost... It's 20 after 9. So, yeah, we should be able to get at least one more, if not two. What book is letter E? E is young blood. Wait, E. Oh, E is uh, it's Avengers number 678 Battle Lines variant. Near mint. Here, I can show you if you want to get a, an up close and personal. Cost $10 at the store. Today, it could be yours for the low, low price of $5. We got 40 seconds left on the clock. Big O's going to take letter E. He said, give me some rogue. And let me know, uh, Big O, if you would like a uh, uh, Robotech book to go with that. I can make that happen for you. <laughs> I'm going to show you the Robotech that I've got. <laughs> I found it in the box. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. So that's the timer. It looks like no, uh, no love or whatever else is up there. A bunch of minor keys and weird variants and shit. Uh, so yeah, if anybody sees any of this, you want to pick any of it up, just hit me up. I'll, I'll, the price is, is today will be the price. It always is. If not lower, maybe years from now, but, uh, let's move over to big O. I want to see your robo tech. Let me see what you got. Yes. Yes. See, I'm missing that one. That's beautiful. Beautiful, man. It's a beaut clock, a beaut. <laughs> so, uh, doing a $2 round, um, Found right. some uh, aliens and predator stuff. See if anybody's interested in some of the indie comics uh, here to close out the night. Um, so in the A spot, we got aliens, predator, the deadliest of the species. In the B spot, we got predator, cold war number one. In the C spot, we've got predator, race war. In the D spot, we've got aliens, newts, tail. Yeah, right. that's a good book. And that's actually one of the one of the thicker books, a little oversized book. Um, in the E spot, we got Aliens Rogue, and that's number two. In the F spot, we've got Aliens the Colonel Marine or the Colonial Marines, excuse me, number one and two. And then in the G spot, we've got um, Aliens Colonial Marines three and four. And then finally in the H spot, I found um, a battle group Piper. And, and I just thought it was an interesting take. So I figured I'd throw it up in this round. So $2 a, a claim. All right. Let me get this starting line drop down in here. Get your $2 books. Let's see if I can adjust this thing because it keeps on tilting all over the place. Got the line down and the timer rolling. Now's your chance to get some $2 alien books, y'all. What? You got some predators. You got some aliens. And I'll do the same thing, right? I'll do 14 claims them all if anybody wants them. And they've all, except for the battle group Piper, they've all got an extra book behind
And I'll have to look. I'm pretty sure that Rogue book isn't a Battle Lines variant. I think it's a different variant. It's a it's a variant, but I don't think it's a Battle Lines variant. I think it's something else, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I have to double check. Oh, Young Guns. That's what it is. Not Battle uh, Lines. It's Young okay. Guns. Yeah, my bad. Got 30 seconds left on the clock. No love for the Aliens book. Man, I'm surprised. You got Dark Horse Aliens up there. Nobody's taking any of it. So I just Max I snagged it, Max, in because... It had the Schwatzka on it and stuff like that, but I really don't know a lot about it. I didn't crack it open to check anything. It does have a couple ticks along the spine, so it has been read. But other than that, you know, it's in good shape. Man, it might be signed by the Fuhrer himself, and you never know. Uh, definitely not. It wouldn't be in my possession if it did, if it was. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one you're holding the number one or not? Numbered? Um, it's it's not numbered. I can let me look. Um, hey, we got um, you, Houdat. Usually the rounds get higher as we go. I don't know about everybody else, so that's how I do it. I always put out the more expensive stuff at the end. I'm putting out the the indie stuff at the end. I put out the expensive <laughs> stuff earlier. It it is not numbered, so. Uh, I think Max Sand's saying she'll take it. It might be historically significant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it in there. For funnies. For, for the I'll fun buy team. the Nazi book for funs and good for shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Well, that was the timer. So if anybody else in here wants to grab any of these other books, just let Big O know. Hit mm. him up. And uh, we hopefully we'll get one more round out of this and uh, move over here to the Cleavers and see what they got. Hello. Hello. Now, it's a dollar round for all the raw books. The protected books, well, they have their own price because Mama put it up there. I have the max number one. I have Teen Titan Spotlight on the Brotherhood of Evil, number 11. I have Secret Origins, number 3. Got Green Lantern, Batwoman, and Red Robin in it, it says. I have Marvel Universe Deluxe Edition, number 13. Super Adapter to Umar. I have... Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu Hustle. I mean, Kung Fu. Oof. I have Union, number one. And I have Death Mate Epilogue. And Mama has... And on the H spot for $40, we have Amazing Spider-Man. You have a glare. There number 331. It is a Punisher, Black Cat, and Venom appearance. And it is a 9-4. White pages? Uh, white pages, yes. Snow white pages. There we go, y'all. One dollar round. There Get you your one dollar books. The max for a buck, y'all. That's a good deal. There's still a lot of spec going on about them doing another max series. Max Ann is claiming the max. She's going to have the whole run of max soon. Okay. And she's claiming letter G, too. This is the only one I only two I had. And she gets the Montrose number 24. Oh. And she's taking letter G, too. The Death Mate. The Death Mate. And what did I put here? Oh, that's a good one. Artemis and the Assassin, number one. Oh, nice. I've never read that before. Sweet. We've got 30 seconds left on the clock. I think she had F and F too, didn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah. She did get a, F, F and G, so F. Ah, F? Okay. What's behind that one? Magic the Gathering, the Shadow Mage. Cool link. All right, y'all. We got five seconds left. If anybody else wants to grab any of these books for a dollar, a dollar, just let us know. Drop it in the chat. 
Say, give me that. Give me that. Give me that book. Give me that. That, that book uh, for one dollar again. And uh, if you get this on the rewind, then uh, hit the cleavers up on the Insta, and we're gonna move over to Weapon X. Thank, Thank you. you for this round. Ooh, you got some spawn books. You got some spawns. So at the top in A, we got spawn number four for six. How much is this round gonna be? Six. Oh, are they individually? Then, oh, I see. Yeah, and then the, the bottom row is gonna be three dollars each. And uh, B, we got uh, issue fifteen of spawn. In uh, C, issue five, and in D, uh, issue eight, the spawn. All right, y'all. Claim the letter. You got six dollars on the top book and three dollars on each of the bottom books. Get them real quick. Someone's gonna take them, and then you're gonna miss them, and you're gonna cry because that's what you do when you don't get what you want. Is you cry, and uh, you got the starting line down and the timer going. Some sweet ass spawn books right there, boy. Yeah, these are the early runs. So I was trying to. Yeah, that's a good price, too. They look like they're crispy clean. Yep. And what's cool about four is four does have the coupon. So I know a lot of them don't have the coupon, but four does have the Image Comic Zero mail in coupon. So you'll see a lot of them that don't have it. People pulled them out. Yeah, man, I didn't even know that that was in there. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of people don't don't know that about that. People just buy it. Oh, cool, and then they don't think, hey, is it complete? Like, it's, it's one of those. Yeah, I know we joke about it, but there's a coupon in there, but that one actually has a coupon. <laughs> that's funny. Got thirty seconds left on the clock. Still no takers. No spawn love tonight. We've got 10 seconds left. Be your last chance to jump on these books before they're gone like the wind. I would say they would be gone in 60 seconds, but you only had 10 seconds left when I was going to say it. <laughs> so that would be lying. But that is the timer, so anybody sees these on the rewind wants to grab them, just hit Weapon X up. And he can make that happen for you. And now, it's back to Parker. Parker! How much is this round? Parker. 50. 50? Um, $50 round. $50 round? Okay, uh, A... Oh, and I also have another... Buy now, I'll show that after. Okay, so $50 round here. Um, all of the... Oh, no, that's not true. It's... A, B, and D are uh, German editions. Uh, C is the first day of issue stamp reprint. Um, and E is near mint first print of uh, vision. Visions, vision. Okay, uh, so yeah, claim away, claim by letter. No discounts here. I mean, if you want everything here, I'll take off 20 bucks. So 230 for everything, yeah. Uh, so Avengers 1, German edition, is also near mint candidate. So not only is the likelihood of any of us ever owning an Avengers 1 pretty small, but a near mint copy, here's your chance. I have hopes that I'll find one in the garbage one day. Good save. Oh, wow. That landed perfectly flat. Thank God. Uh, Journey 83, also a German edition. Only real difference is the heavy blue background. Oh, you know, and the German words. Big, big part of it. Also, near mint. Daredevil's near mint as well. All right, y'all. Fifty dollars gets you a claim. Claim one of these for fifty bucks. You got the vision number one near mint. You got all these German ah. first appearances that are about to fall down, but. Parker wouldn't let that happen. Never, never, never. It's not up to discount, and I don't like doing discounts. So I'm cheap. Yeah, it's this thing on top is like a pamphlet. It's not part of the book. So you're getting the stamp on there. So you get that, and it's, a, it's like a sealed poly bag kind of thing here, which hasn't ever been open. So you're still getting a near mint sealed copy of this. You get the stamp and reprint behind it. 
Oh, let me finish showing off the books, then you can start the timer. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and then E, vision number one. This is Near Mint Plus. Um, some of what we get in WandaVision might be based off this Tom King run. Um, I'm seeing these for 50 and 60 on eBay. Some of them are listed in the, for 80, 80 to yeah. 100. So <clears throat> Near Mint Plus right here. Now's your chance. All right, yeah, that's all I got. I think my time's up. Yeah, that was the timer. So if anybody wants to oh, grab yeah. any of these books, do it real quick in the chat. Get them while you can. If you miss out, then you can always hit Parker up on Instagram and make a deal over there. And check out his page because he has tons of books for sale over there. All kinds of different yeah. ranges. Older, newer, borrowed, bluer. And, uh, <laughs> I like that. But yeah, you can drop a thing in here in the chat if you want to get something else from him tonight. I'm going to try and do this real quick so we can each get another turn. This is going to be a $10 round. And uh, instead of being $80 for the whole table, it'd be $70. So you still can get a free uh, free book. Uh, so $10 round. Let's see here. First book up we got. This is an Unknown Comics exclusive. For Jean Grey, number one, the Venomized Jean Grey. Really nice, clean copy. You know, it's new, so it should be. And then we're also going to do this Astonishing X-Men, number three. Ooh, variant, nice. like the Venomized variant. Yeah, very nice, clean copy. And uh, in the C-Spot, I got the uh, facsimile for Hulk 180. Near Mint, it doesn't look like it was ever read. That's going to go right there. Um, let me do this book here. In the D spot, we got Uncanny X-Men number, one, uh, number 157. This is a really nice copy. It's not near mint. It, it's just, it's really nice. I have it at a very fine. That's why it's not, you know, more than $10. But it's a direct copy too, so it's an early direct Um E and F are both the same book. They're both near mint, and it's Venom 1. So I got two copies of Venom 1. Both of them are near mint. In the G spot, I have number one and two of Undiscovered Country. Both near mint. So uh, number one's going for a little bit now, and if you wanted to read it, that way you get a little jump on the story. It's actually a good story if you hadn't read it yet. But uh, And then in the H spot, this is a bundle. It's one through six of classic X-Men. They're all good, can you know, not good condition. They're all like very fine or higher. Um, so that's one through six of that. You'll get all six of them for $10. So that's a pretty good deal right there, I think. Uh, like I said, 10 bucks a letter or I'll do $70 for the whole table. And uh, just just claim all before anyone else does. And they can be yours. We got the starting line down and the timer going. So we'll see if anybody wants to jump on that or if nobody wants any of them. You're killing me with these uh, venomized X-Men books, A and B. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> and that's not like I looked all these up on eBay before I priced them. And I went under eBay prices. No, they're, they're, they're good prices too, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like no, letter A. There's a version that goes for fifty, and then there's uh like this one goes for like twenty four dollars with sh plus shipping. Yep. So I think, ten bucks is like if we got Max and taking A and F. I think that was one of the books that had a little bit of controversy around it because uh, what's his name? I don't know. Two last summer, two summers ago, maybe was um was quoted as like sketching it and using it. Yeah, Matina. Yeah. A and getting on the, the venom. Francesco Tristina. <laughs> well, you still got like five seconds left if anybody wants to get any of these other ones. Ten bucks. Ten bucks a letter. All 
All right, so no takers on the rest. If anybody comes in wanting to grab them or you change your mind, then uh, what's in the G spot is Undiscovered Country 1 and 2. Both of them are near mint. It's like a, it's an indie book from Image. They're both real nice condition, you know. It's a good story. Real good. I've read, I've read up to like number three and then can't find the, the rest of them in the dollar bins. <laughs> so I bought number one new, but I just get the rest in the dollar bin. Um, but yeah, let's move over to uh, Big O. This will be our last one. See if we can knock this out real quick. So I, I went super eclectic on this last round. I figured that would be appropriate. So um, in the A spot, I've got Speed Racer. In the B spot, I've got a Back to the Future. Um, this It's one of the um, comics that comes with the toys. It's a uh, Harvey Comics. Um, in the C spot, we got Vietnam Journal, The Field Jacket, number one. In the D spot, we got uh, Dark Horse uh, Comics, The Last of the Mohicans. Um, in the E spot, we got Ape Nation, number one, coming from Adventure Comics. In the F spot, we got Tarzan, number one, uh, Tarzan the Warrior from Malibu Comics. Um, in the G spot, we got Dinosaurs for Hire. Um, mm. which I think, again, is another Malibu okay, okay. comics book. And then in the H yeah. spot, I've got Amazing Adventures. It's, it's again, one of the um, oversized yeah. comics. It's uh, It's got a couple different stories on there from Marvel. Um, $2, $2 a book. $2 a claim. All right, y'all. Two bucks. Get your $2 books. Get them in there while you can. And they're all in, in you know, very fine, very fine plus condition. These are actually some of the nicer condition books. And I just figured go super left field with this last round. <laughs> now that's good stuff, man. To get in there and claim your books, you got just over a minute left on the clock. And we'll do the same thing. Uh, what is that? 14 for all of them? I um, wish I could get this camera set. That's uh, good. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, and if anybody um, catches the rewind and sees something that maybe they're interested in or wants to try to work out a deal for something that was um, was set out earlier, um, just shoot me a message on Instagram or you know if you if you claim something and you want to add something to it that you didn't didn't realize that you needed or you're looking for. You know, um, I've got a good range of things from um, this collection that I've got trying to get rid of. And um, just let me know. Got 15 seconds left on the clock. Any takers on any of these books for two bucks? I guess not. <laughs> uh, it looks like uh, Maxine got this uh, oh, Vietnam journal. Here you go. All right, so y'all know the routine. You know the drill. If you see anything in here you want to grab, then uh, go ahead and throw it in the chat. Or hit Big O up. On Insta, if this is on the rewind and anything left over is fair game, y'all. And let's move over to the cleavers real quick. Hello. Hello. One dollar. Hidden books. Um, Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, number 33. This one is like uh, cyborg, violence, knockabout, and Ivory's first appearance. Um Battle World Siege number two. Battle World Siege number three. Action Comics number 1022. The Initiative New Warriors number one. Cerebus, Cerebus, depends on how you say it. Going Home 16. Detective Comics 1021. And Nightwing 140. All for a dollar. Seven dollars takes them all home. Seven dollars get you sixteen books. All right, y'all. Y'all heard them. One dollar round. Get your one dollar books in there with the free books, and you just get to claim them and to get to go. And they can all be yours for one dollar. We got the timer rolling. What's up, Mo? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming out. 
They need no. So get in there while you can and get you some books. Get some books, y'all. Books. Get you some books. Books. A dollar. A dollar for some Batman. Batman. You want some life tension? I am Iron Man. Foul language. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't foul. It was. It was. It was how it was talk. interpreted. Yeah. Potty talk. It is all interpretation. Uh huh. You should see us when we get going. All right. This is calm. Need that Masters of Shang Chi parental advisory that was on it. Yeah. Got 15 seconds left on the clock. No love for nothing. The Batman, the Sotheribus, Shield. Oh, we even got mm -hmm. Pooper Man. And Pooper Boy. Pooper Boy, yeah. All right, so that is the timer. Looks like no takers on the dollar books. It's, it's sleeping on All the freebies. Right, well, thank you. So uh, we're going to move over to Parker. This is going to be your last one, Parker. Time to shock and awe. Pete? Yep. Pete, Parker. How much is this going to be? Um, okay, this is a, I'm changing it up. I was going to do 10. Just made a little thing. 750. 750. 750 round. Yeah, well, two for 15. It, five's too low and 10's hasn't been selling them. So <laughs> 750, so 15 for two. Or you can get them all for 24. That's six a book. Six is all right. Five's too low. <laughs> so if you're interested, 750 each. These are all Silver Age books. Yes, they're reprints, but they are all from, I think, 67 and 68, if not earlier. So they are early books. You can get them all for 24. Claim them away. Otherwise, 750 each. Um, classic there. All Kirby right here. First Atuma. Um, I think all of them, except maybe that one, have pinup pages. So if you're a collector of, like, old pinups, um, rather than tear them out of, like, an original – first printing these are the ones you should get you should get these marvel's greatest comics get the reprints and then pull the pinups out that's the smart way uh first gorgon first atuma i don't even remember first uh franklin richards right or did that come was that later i think that's uh the richards dad i don't remember his name it's not franklin is it? that's their kid what's their dad's name i don't remember don't reed <laughs> no <laughs> uh, Sue and uh, Sue and Johnny's dad. Sue and Johnny's dad, not Reed's dad. I don't know where I was getting. I was gonna say their last name. Uh, and then this one until he got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storm. What is his name? I don't fucking know. There's that uh, classic issue where he was replaced by a scroll, and I don't know. And then he was like a wanted criminal, and he had to save. Ben or Johnny or something and turn himself in after that. I don't fucking remember. I think that's that. Story. I don't fucking remember. I also have this buy it now. If anyone's interested, Spidey 50, it's a 2.5. Oh, shit, First Kingpin. Off white to white pages. Here's your key stuffs if you care. Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon cameo. Mm. About $375. Shipping is $9 for this as well. So you're looking at $384 altogether. The only real issue are these couple creases. I don't know if you could press or clean this up to a higher grade. I don't really mess with that. But back looks good. There's no damages um, with the slab itself. There's no cracks or dents. So that's available for 375. If you're interested, just hit me up. Otherwise, I sell these 750 each or 24 for the lot. Oh, I hadn't dropped the starting line. Seven fifty each. There you go. Thank you. I want my quarter. I'm uh, I'm totally stalling right now too. By the way, just so you know, because I have like That's one more book I got to find to put up, and I hope J Blitz is still in here because he told me that he wanted this book, and I'm gonna put it in this buy it now right now, and we'll see if he wants it if he's here. Because I'm going to give it the low um, price. Other... 
the today only the price. Now is I can do. Yeah. I can do ten dollars for this pair of Avengers No Road Home. If anyone's interested. Uh, I can do nine dollars on this Captain Marvel twenty two. First, I think Sora. And there's some other firsts in here. Chadwick Boseman. That's nine dollars for that. Um, Anthony dude. Obituary is asking you a question, Parker. What's it say? He says, "How you ship a slab for nine dollars? Media mail? Question mark." No, oh, I ship it in a priority box. It'll cost about fourteen or fifteen, and I just take a five dollar loss because you're spending three hundred and eighty some dollars. I don't mind losing a couple dollars. And plus, That's he only had one it. slab. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Parker's selling not his really slab. A, I'm not gonna make up a whole new thing because the one slab I have, I'm not gonna make up a whole like separate. <laughs> oh, slabs are this much. You know, same as like if I sell one book for six bucks, it's gonna go first class. It's gonna be about six bucks if I lose. If it's like six thirty-five or something, oh no, I lost thirty cents. It's not a big deal. Um, usually, you can ship priority priority an envelope if you just get a book or two. It's like you know, sandwich that in cardboard. It's eight bucks. I make a dollar on shipping. I keep getting crap like, how do you do shipping so low? I'm like, I usually make money on the shipping, even priority. It's I don't get where you. I don't know. And I don't think you guys are charging too much because that is how much a, a box costs. It starts at usually fifteen for a big for medium flat rate box. But yeah, flat rate nine dollars is plenty. Nine is plenty to ship like at least 10 books. And if I'm shipping 100 or 200 worth or a slab, I'm usually making enough money that I don't mind eating a couple dollars in shipping. It's not a big deal. There you go, Anthony. Sorry. I got defensive there. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so uh, there you go. Anybody in the chat sees any of these books that didn't get claimed, which is all of them. <laughs> so if anybody wants them, just hit Parker up, drop it in here in the chat, or hit him up on the Instagram. And y'all can make that happen. And we're going to run over here, do my last round, and then do this giveaway, and we can get out of here. So you can see everything's got a different price on it. Uh, we'll start up here at the top, giant size man thing number five. This is probably in the, like, fine minus range, 20 bucks. You got Daredevil, set 270, first appearance of Blackheart. Um, I have this at a very fine $20. And then you got Marauders number three in Huck Lee variant. I think that's right. Is that? No, let's Lee Hung. Lee Hung variant. Yeah, Near Mint. I got it for $20. You got uh, Marvel 2 in 1. Uh, Thing in Spider Woman. This is the third appearance of Spider Woman, second full appearance of Spider Woman, whatever you want to call it. It's a direct issue. Uh, that's actually a newsstand. I thought that diamond was directed then. But anyway, 10 bucks. That's uh, probably in the fine range also. Uh, in the E spot, we have this is Ghost Rider number five, the second print. This is a double signed book with this weird COA from uh, this comic shop called Comic Book Collector. Wait, it's, it's from uh, somewhere on here. It says it. Um, anyway, it's signed by. Uh, Javier Salatares and Mark Texteri. Double sign, 20 bucks. Uh, you got a uh, dark red number one, Shannon Mayer exclusive to C2E2, $100 signed by Shannon Mayer. And something's killing the children, number 11, one in 100, near mint copy, 130. And last but not least, this is X Men 1. Uh, this is uh, the IG Comic Store exclusive number 392 of 600. Homage in that uh, X Men one. 50 bucks for that. If anybody wants any of those, just claim the letter. You got the price right there on them. I'm going to move my, uh, my ticker thing out of the way so you can see that at the bottom because I know you can't see it. So there you go. Claim the letter and you can have the book. We had Hudat saying put up some better stuff, so I put up the most expensive stuff I have. <laughs> I don't usually have a lot of expensive comics to sell, but there you go. That's what I got. <laughs> so, more yeah, about if anybody's e. interested in any of those, uh, tell me more about E. Letter, yeah, it's a second print of Ghost Rider number five. 
you can tell it's second print because it's gold instead of being black. And then the, it's got the, the COA on the back. Um, the It's got one of the signatures right here. That's the first guy. That's uh, that's uh, Javier Saltares. That's his signature there. And then Texteri's signature is on the inside of page one. Like they used to always sign everything. But it's in really great shape. It's not messed up or anything. It's it's not all beat up. Got 20 seconds left on the clock. He is a hell of a truck. All right, so Max is going to take letter E. And that's going to be the timer. And just let me know, Max, if you want any uh, Robotech books to go with that. You just say the word, and I'll throw some in your box. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, – uh, let's see. Where's the rest of your stuff here? There it is. We'll uh, go ahead and end this here now. End this here and now. That'll be the – that. this is the end. Beautiful friend. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I need to set up my wheel of despair. Oh, wait, it's all me. <laughs> how did that happen? Because I was <laughs> cheating, that's how. Okay, I know y'all can't see it. I'm over here making it up while I'm talking. So I'm going to put up my people on it that I bought for me. And uh, then y'all can tell me if you had anybody to add. So this M E. Flipping you all off. He hey, Parker did it. I guess I could be. Yeah, Parker jumped off the bridge. Jump over bridge. Oh, yeah. Depends on where the bridge is. Mm. In the bridge of the ducky Brody. Yeah. Yeah. There. Let me do that. Now everybody can mm. see me putting them on there. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Flat. The rigged wheel. The rigged wheel. Next. How do I rig the wheel? <coughs> Who's winning the rigged wheel tonight? Tacoma. Take the Valcor out or go yeah. flat. Well, that right? Yeah, I did. Good. Doing good with the spelling right now. I'm really knocking it out of the ballpark. Joey Bag of Sevens. Joey Bag of Sevens. That's everybody that bought for me. Tacoma, we go. Joey, Max, Flash, Stephen Stock, and Brendan B. And I got one person back there. Who is that? Ms. Me Comics. Okay, so that's everybody I got. Does anybody have anybody to add? I don't know. The massive wheel of despair. We got yeah. we got twenty nine thumbs up and one thumb down. So uh, we are nowhere near a hundred, but we still got time, y'all. <laughs> uh, put Gamers Man down for me. He bought something for me tonight. Okay. Yep. And then and we have Matt, Max Ann on there already. Yep. Yep. I had Max Ann. I had the uh, the Cleavers bought for me tonight. Okay. And then I also had uh, Parker. Oops, I spelled their name wrong. <laughs> Where are the clavers? <laughs> Hell, we've been called worse. worse so that, you know, it doesn't matter. And then I also had uh, Hoser bought a book from me. Oh, sir. Leave it for the clavers. All right. Anybody okay. else got anybody to add? We had T Pain. Yeah, I was just about to say T Pain. Uh, and T -Pain. Mr. Garrell. Mr. Garrell bought comics? Yes, he did. And the other ones are already on there because we had Tacoma and Max N. Yeah, right. He ain't got there. He's not. Okay, what about you, Parker? You got anybody to add? Parker. 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 Damn it, Parker, pay attention. Parker, step nope. into my office. 
Nope, nope, nope. No? No. No. I said no. 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 Negative. Parker was okay. at so we got the teacher had to 15 times. No. Parker, you're fired. He was the one that kept getting hit with a race. No. And no. We got 25 people in here unless well now we got 24 cuz I didn't want to hear y'all arguing. Uh <laughs> Um and let's see uh so that makes 7. Wait, 6 now. So I'm going to shuffle 6 times and spin once and so help me God whoever gets picked is getting this free trade paperback. 1 2 3 4 5 6 Flash by nights on the top. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Make a deal. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be the cleavers? It looks like it's gonna be the cleavers. Oh, that's funny. Hey, the clavers won. <laughs> the cleavers won. So you're the winner of this trade paperback. I can't see anything anymore. Cool. It's rigged. You win this. Secret Warriors. Warriors. Hot I keep hot. saying Secret Warriors. Secret Warriors. Secret Warriors. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank throw you. It in your box. And that's going to do it. Can you not throw it? Can you set it in there nicely, please? I'll place it in there ever so gingerly. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, we're going to run through everybody real quick, and you can say your got to goes and see you laters, and then we'll get out of here. We've wasted enough of their time. <laughs> so, Big O, where you going? What you got going on, brother? Ooh, uh, just want to say thanks again for having me up, uh, back on with you. Oh uh, yeah, man, anytime. I, I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to jump on some more um, as I'm trying to get through this collection from a friend. Um, I also just wanted to show off a couple of art prints that I won from um, Steve Whiting. He did a little uh, giveaway with um, Hialeah. And I got a couple uh, art prints from a guy. It's an artist named Joe Doyle. He's actually yeah. here in the Tampa area. Uh, just if anybody's interested in getting some original art by uh, Joe, he's um, Doyle Comics Art on Instagram. Yeah. Um, these are two of the four that I picked up from him. I just wanted to show him off and try to talk him up a little bit. He's got some really good stuff. Um, he does Venom and Anti-Venom very, very well. Um, he, he's pretty good at doing the, the kind of the scratchy, almost Bill Sienkiewicz type um, uh, stylistically, just along that line. So yeah, you know, I, I just wanted to kind of show him off a little bit since uh, I picked it, I won them recently. Yeah, he has an Instagram, Doyle Art. I've I've been on his Instagram before. Yep. His I follow his Instagram. So, um, but other than that, uh, just just hopefully jumping on some more a little bit more often as I'm able to during the school year now, um, and uh, hopefully be able to see you guys again here real soon. Sounds good, okay. man. It was a pleasure having you. Yeah. Yeah. Right really. All right. So let's nice move up. over to the Cleavers, and they can say Hello. hey. Hey y'all! Want to say um, thanks for you for letting us be on. Thanks to the incredible panel, everybody who came out to hang with us, whether you purchased or not. It's always fun to see y'all. Um, let your voices be heard tomorrow. Go vote. Um, we'll be back here with food tomorrow, Thunder God Thursday. Um, rest of the week, we'll kind of play that by ear. But come hang with us tomorrow because it's my birthday. So <laughs> y'all peace out and take care. All right, sorry. I had to make an adjustment. Yeah. All right, so uh, Weapon X, what's up, man? Where are you going to be? What you doing? Uh, what you got so, going on? Uh, Friday, we're going we're gonna to be doing a scumbag auction Friday is what I'm understanding. So we're going to be doing our first auction sometime Friday evening. <laughs> and uh, it's still a lot of uh, so. like confidence in <laughs> the scumbag auction. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys follow me on, on Instagram, um, with my Instagram stuff at is it here? Oh, here I can put it back up. Um, I'm gonna be doing a contest. I'm gonna be opening up uh, another ID where I'm gonna be selling some books on the side to kind of keep it separate. But on the Instagram, there's a, a kind of a, a puzzle. There's a, some covers that I've matched up, gotcha. and you're gonna you're hear, hearing it here first. But if you can unscramble all the covers and tell me which what which covers there are, you'll win that stack of books basically. But 
I'm not going to say it until I put it on my other channel or my other Instagram page, but you're kind of getting a heads up, those of y'all that are here in the auction tonight. If you take a look at that picture, there's about eight different comics that I've matched up together, so you can unscramble those comics. You can win that, that stack of books. But other than that, that's about it. Thanks for having me, Barbarian. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. You're always welcome on here. And y'all go check that out. Go on his Instagram and see if you can figure it out. I know I'm going to. And I'm really good at puzzles, so you better do it quick or else I'm going to win. I like that Star Wars. It's a banging book. Yeah, yeah it is. All right, bye, so bye. last up, we got Parker. Parker! Hi, Parker. What's up, everybody? Um, I got nothing. I'll be here tomorrow, same time, same channel. Um, I think that this Friday is our last Friday sale for now, but I'm going to try to take the reins on that one and get my own stream going, I think. I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. But <laughs> from what I heard, Barb can't host on Fridays anymore. So rather than just throw that whole sale away, uh, I'm going to try to start posting duties for Fridays. But for now, just Monday and Tuesday on Barb's channel. So find us tomorrow. Yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for coming out and watching. Right on, right on. And last but not least, you get to see me. Hi. Yeah, thanks for coming out, everybody. I really appreciate it. Like Parker was saying, this Friday is going to be the last Friday sale that I am able to do here on my channel. Um, it may work out that uh, we use my channel and just someone else hosts. We haven't really talked about it, like he said. But, uh, yeah, I got to go back to work on Fridays where I actually have to like get, go to work to get paid. So that sucks. But uh, still going to do Mondays and Tuesdays every week. Not going to stop doing that. Um, <clears throat> like I always say, if you ain't got nothing going on tonight in, in like an hour at 11 o'clock Eastern time, go over to Mr. Garrell's channel. Me and Mr. Garrell do a show called the hunters and we just bullshit and like hang out, talk comics. If you want to join the show, just like, let us know, like send me a, a DM on Instagram or, uh, send him one, you know, if you can say it in the chat and we can send you a link cause it's just dudes talking comics and showing off the stuff we get throughout the week. And he threatened me to just talk about politics the whole time. And I'm not really that dude. So yeah. maybe a really short show if that's what happens. Cause <laughs> I, I feel like a Corona coming on. <laughs> I don't know. I better go check my temperature and make sure I'm good. But uh, yeah, go check us out though on Mr. Garrell's channel. It's a fun time right here every Tuesday and Monday, 7 PM to 10 PM. Eastern Standard Time. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll get notified when I go live and you can be one of the first ones. The first rounds are always the best and they always go for next to nothing if they sell it all. That's why I would always try and get there early and get those cheap ones. Get the good ones. Get them. Um, other than that, though, thanks for everybody coming out. Thanks for everybody that bought from anybody you know on the panel. I appreciate everybody coming out, cracking jokes, making me laugh. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow at 7 p.m. right here for the auction. I got a whole bunch more books, new stuff to show, some lots and some runs. And I don't have the runs, but maybe if I leave early tonight, <laughs> I'll say I did. Um, Keep eating that Taco Bell and you will. Oh, God, I know. It's horrible. <laughs> on that note, though, we'll catch you all later. Said you on the flip side <laughs> come over tonight to mr Garrell's. <laughs>